this absurd, wonderful adventure that we all started together. And I am, for whatever reason, determined to finish. Let's do it. By the way, if you missed it yesterday, we got our class upgrades and Techie made somehow even better sprites for those. The black belt is me, but Anonymous clothes from Soikoden 2. The red wizard is me in Final Fantasy XI artifact red mage armor. The white wizard now has Luna popping out of the robe. And the black wizard is now Vivi with googly eyes. <laughs> it's just so good. Hi, Juan. You're doing good, Rick. I'm glad to hear that. Well, maybe, listen, but Fish, maybe if you had the googly eyes, then you wouldn't need glasses. Maybe that would fix it. So, uh, last time I found that one tent where you buy the bottled fairy, and I remembered, oh god, that's what we need to fix the, you know, submarine slash barrel. So, I don't have enough money to buy it. We've got to grind out some money. We gotta grind some money and then we can work our way towards fighting the Kraken. That's true, Trop. We do have fixed versions of the new two gift sub pack, three gift sub pack, and 1,000 bit alerts. Because uh, I discovered yesterday that for whatever reason, Streamlabs volume adjustment for MP4s doesn't work. It doesn't work, and I don't know why. Uncle Ergnot has a present for you! But it's fine, because a uh, trap gave me lower volume ones. <laughs> so now it's now it works fine. A Christopher, thank you for gifting two subs to the community. Welcome on into Phil Ragnar and Tenhoda. Rasha, thank you for gifting a sub to the community. Welcome on into Perk, and uh, I don't know why that why why is there not an alert for that? Hello? There it goes. Don't worry, I hit the button, it's fine. I just hit, I think it got confused because there was so many that came up at once. So I just hit it so that it would do the thing. Yeah, the Moogles are on fire, don't worry about it. Thank you, Christopher, for gifting three more subs. Welcome on in to OG Hitaks. Subterranean and Kuro. I hope y'all enjoy 30 days of emotes. Thank y'all so much. Hi, Hesty. How are you doing? Might be confusing but funny if the countdown was in Wingdings. I actually did try to see whether or not I could do that, Deadman, but unfortunately, the thing that I use for the countdown does not have Wingdings available as a font. Surprisingly. That also now puts us at 1,335 sub points, which is only 65 sub points from our next Awesome August Unlock. Also, hi, RPGC! I saw you earlier, and then I didn't say hello the first time because I got distracted, and I just now remembered that I saw you type something else that was probably a lurk emote, but then I got distracted because Streamlabs is being dumb. Hi! <laughs> Also, Vivi has a knife! Look at his angry eyebrows! <laughs> Mice, thank you for gifting two subs to the community! Welcome on in to Kuro Mikami and Mercy Mercy Me! I hope you enjoy 30 days of emotes courtesy of Marsh, which gets us to Leap! We're at Leap now. We are elite dudes. I don't know how much mo oh man, uh, let's see. I've got like, I don't know, 12,000 something? How much, I don't remember how much the bottle fairy is.
Yo, that's like 40,000 gil. <laughs> Heck! All right, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be grinding money for a little while. I didn't want to miss contributing. Avalono Obard love love your bestie Tilda. Hi bestie! Do you do you do you do you like Vivi with googly eyes? <laughs> Look at it! It's beautiful! Look what's hacking me! It's so good! Look at him! Look at him, he loves you! <laughs> Thank you, Bestie, for 56 months at Tier 3. Welcome back. Hi. It is, as always, wonderful to see you, and I hope that you and Jen are doing well. Oh my god. Um, fun facts. Bestie, because I know that you and Jen were going to try to play Final Fantasy XI, but it also, like, takes forever. Um, but the red mage, the red, the red wizard, that's the AF2 armor from Final Fantasy XI. And, 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 I'm wearing the hat that it took me ten fucking years to get, and I maybe cried yesterday! That's right, Ollie, I did! I cried yesterday, okay? I told, yeah, I told Brian that he needed to come see the boats. <laughs> and the airship. <laughs> the airship has googly eyes that just like go all over the place. Um, also, Barry, to answer your question, I will be staying here for a while, but if and when there are changes to be made for that, I will definitely let y'all know first thing. Yeah, Final Fantasy XI is totally still online and a thing. And is it's not receiving new like expansions, but they do still get regular monthly updates. Hi Shy, how are you doing? Yeah, he's got this many monies. Hi Husty! Hi! Hi Addy Brock, how you doing? I I'm suddenly filled with a lot more energy with this music. Enjoy your alert, Brian! Thanks for coming to say hello. Thank you for the resub. Ugh, I can't... I can't afford the thing! <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna ask. Hey, chat! Where's, like, the best place to farm money right now? Hi, Blackjack. How are you doing? Hi, Rydor. How are you? Yeah, I don't know if we're actually getting Gil from the desert fights or not. I'm wondering if maybe going outside of uh, Gaia would be better? Maybe going outside of Gaia would be better. I also forgot how to make the map bigger. I accidentally made it really small. Here we go. Now it's huge. Hitch. Hitch. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my googly airship because I don't feel like we're actually getting any money from this. Oh, I 
feel like maybe a better place to farm would be over here by Gaia? The woods in the top Red Island? Like over here or something? I know, I, I, like, I'm pretty sure ogres spawn more in forests, so. And these also have the dinosaurs. I don't know if they drop good money or not. Hi, Ash, how are you doing? Hi, Shadow, how are you? Good to see y'all. Hi, Bob. Hello, hello. Hey, Curl, how are you doing? Does the airship have googly eyes too? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it have googly eyes? You think dino straps would kill, but can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember either. Oh, near where I found Bahamut? So, like, on the actual island chains? Or, like, over here where the castle is? Because, like, there's woods right here in this one. Or here. On the chains? Okay, I'll try these because Bahamut, I think, was on this bottom right hole. I'm gonna make a quick save. Just like, we need a ton of money so that I can progress the game at all. Because <laughs> I spent all of my money on buying a dagger for Vivi. I forgot that you have to spend so much money on the bottled fairy. Aw, oh, thank you, Kuro. I'm glad you like the googly eyes. I do too. Oh, oh no, Blackjack. I hope she stops that soon. This game needs more googly eyes. Well, maybe next time we can add some more. Also, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Rhydor. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Well, let's see, that's like 24, 2480 or something. It's a decent amount. Preemptive strike, definitely good. You trying to catch up to me? I mean, you might be able to, Shadow, considering how much time I spent getting lost, and also depending on how many mages you have to spend money on for spells. Yeah, we, we also seem to be getting, like, somewhat decent XP. Uh, let me toss us a heal as well. Oh yeah, and I bought the better version of heal. So we spent a lot of money on magic and stuff, and that's why I was totally hacking broke. But it's okay, because uh, that's all gonna come in handy later. There won't be enough googly eyes until we give the googly eyes googly eyes. Hey, Techie! It's going good! We're currently grinding up money to buy the bottled fairy. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, we have not enough money. Is this game viable with Fighter, Monk, Thief, Red Mage? Yeah, I mean, you can beat the whole game with a single thief if you're, like, really, really determined. You're just, you're just gonna have to invest a lot in potions. <laughs> There'll probably be, like, one section of the game where you can't quite buy high potions yet. That might be a little bit iffy, but it's definitely doable, 100%. Especially because you would have one red mage for heals. And they don't learn AoE cure spells, but that's not too big of an issue. Hi, West Code. Am I fluent in wingdings yet? I definitely wouldn't say fluent, but I am eerily starting to understand it, so 
We're getting closer. You're winning fighter, black belt, white mage, black mage. Dope. You had a run that got through fire crystal with two months. Oh, three months in a white mage before you got bored. <laughs> Many encounter. Yeah, oh, plus the red mage will be able to learn um, that spell that boosts your attack power and also haste. So, really, between those things, I don't think you'll have any issues. Just, like, buff the crap out of your melee characters, and everything will be fine. Hi, Forest. How are you doing today? I'm just gonna keep grinding money until I don't recognize the symbol as anything that's a low number anymore. <laughs> and it's true, if you have overwhelming physical Hi, damage, you can do anything. Nikki, thank you for 20 months. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to Spoonie Grinds Money. Can ninjas use temper? Your Sobo Monk run went very well. Only chaos to multiple attempts. Oh, and then you only had to grind a few haste consumables. I actually forgot that there are haste consumables. I wish I had a cape as cool as Red Wizard. enough money for it. Close. Ninjas have access up to level 3 black magic. Same thing is true for night and white magic, I believe. Temper is, I think, level 2, so yeah, if that's true, then it should have access to temper. whether or not you're challenging yourself to do no class change or not. I did not want to do the no class change thing for my run with four white mages because it was my first time playing the game and it was hard enough. <laughs>
Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna AOE things. That's true. I did say I'd rather 100% batten Kaidos than do a solo monk run of FF1. <laughs> I'm still really impressed that you did that, Akristor. That's an accomplishment. You're tempted to retry a low-level class change challenge you only originally tried on the NES version? It would probably be more approachable on this version, Astral, since they upped the level cap to 99, and, you know, all of the spells work now, and you don't have to buy potions one at a time. <laughs> There's a, a lot of very nice quality of life changes since the original. Also, I believe in this version you get a lot more MP charges than you originally could. divide in this one uh, like between living party members West code yes so for example if you have one living party member because it's a solo challenge and the other three are emotional support corpses the three dead guys don't get XP so your one character gets it all which does help some hi J Ridge how are you doing Okay, I think we might have enough money now. I'm gonna do one or two extra just to make sure. Yeah, I don't know if the sliding puzzle mini game still exists. I haven't tried. robe and stuff except for I can't read what any of them are also I don't think I've come across the white robe yet anyway or the I don't know if I've come across the giant gloves I might have and I might have accidentally sold them oh well funny too because now I'm looking at the game from two perspectives at once from the first perspective is now me starting to understand some wingdings and being able to read these spells and then every once in a while I take a step back and I just look at the screen and think about what this must look like if you have no idea what any of the wingding symbols mean and there's just Vivi with googly eyes Casting this gibberish spell with all these nonsense symbols. <laughs> Just googly eyes, raising his arms, and then thunder comes out. Like, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can afford this now. I'm not sure if there's a minimum level for class change in this version. Yay, I was correct, we can afford it. Thanks buddy for the fairy. I'm gonna go fix the barrel. Is 
isn't that how magic is supposed to work? Fair enough. Hi, Dukat. How are you doing? Um, and I, I have no idea, Yars. Uh, the sprites were edited by Techie. So I should sync my game since I bought that. Oh uh, yeah, and this is the correct town, if I'm to call correctly. Uh, many hill gegas, but they got to hit us first. Hi, Carl Bolt. Thank you. <laughs> the googly eyes are uh, my personal favorite, I think. If you're right, 11 was the level you'd reach only fighting the required fights. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if the XP differs in this version. I just know that they bumped the level cap up to 99. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, old shit tag, I had, um... I had an encounter with, like, six ogres. <laughs> And uh, all I can think of is, this is illegal. <laughs> so is walking diagonal, but here we are doing it anyway. Okay. I'm gonna make another save real quick. We should be good to go. Thank you for the clip, Paul. <laughs> okay. Let's go fix that barrel. Hi, I got this fairy. Oh no. I'm missing a step, aren't I? Yo, I totally do not remember. I thought the fairy just fixed the thing. Alright. Maybe, maybe you talk to somebody else here in town? Yeah. There's that pirate dude, and also that scholar dude. Uh... <laughs> Yo, can I trade you this fairy? That's true, Ollie. The answer was no. Thank you. Hey, Vincent. How are you doing? That's true. We are only 63 subs away from Bizhawk Shuffler. But this time, y'all get to pick what games I play, and it's going to be terrifying. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just ask, because I want to finish this game. Hey, chat! I don't remember where you're supposed to take the bottled fairy. I was thinking that it was just to the lady with the barrel and that the fairy would fix everything, but I don't remember and I can't read anything because it's all in wingdings. Oh, do we take the fairy to Gaia? Oh, that's right. You have to go to the spring in Gaia. I'm 
I'm still giggling at myself for the fact that I freaking played this game like seven months ago and I still forget where the bottle fairy goes. Thank you, chat. Yeah, and then there's like a pond way heck in the back. And the fairy's like, Oh, thank you for releasing me. That mean man in the desert with such a butt face. What's that? You need uh, oxygen for going in a barrel underwater? I can help you with that somehow. Put this bottle on your head, thunk. That's pretty much what happens. Hey, Anne. Hey, Coach. Hey, Percival. Yeah! Cool. I got thing. We take thing to barrel. <laughs> I was this close, this close to remembering it, but I gave up. I was like, nah. I somehow remembered that you have to go to that one weird patch of desert that has a forest next to it. So, I feel like I did pretty good. Doesn't Link need those fairies? Nah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Hi, Tomba, how are you doing? No Inquisitort! Listen, don't make me have an intervention for you like we had one for Trap yesterday. I mean, he could try a Inquisitort, but I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> Uh, yes, this googly-eyed Vivi has some oxygen for this barrel. Now, please get out of our way. I bite the barrel! swords for red wizard as well I should be able to use the uh, flame saber here it says it does less but it will do more here okay and if I remember right this place has a ton of extra treasures Fantasy one, but with all of the font replaced with windings. Hi, Carly. How are you doing? <laughs> Trump needs a live deal intervention. Probably, but let's face it. No one can stop Trump except for Trump, and he won't stop Trump. So... We'll just have to live with the life deals. Yeah, we also have some custom sprite work done by Techie here in chat. Special for this playthrough. Uh, they are all themed for the community. 
like the white wizard is hey. actually my Congo African gray parrot, Ollie, and also my cat. <laughs> oh, inside again, thank you for the sub. Welcome on in, I hope you enjoy those emotes. I play a ton of RPGs and retro games. I promise they're not all in Wingdings, but this has honestly been so fun that I'm really tempted to do other goofy challenge runs like that for some of the other ones that come out. Let's see. All right, yeah, those were the empty joke rooms. There is one down there. God, I love these maps so much. Hey Punisher, how are you doing? No, I don't want to play Top Shop Trop. <laughs> Jack's gonna close down my toy store and then you're gonna win at the end because of bullshit Mario Party shenanigans. <laughs> You, but you will, though! I know you're gonna close it, Jay. Oh, you saw my Paladin percent run of Final Fantasy IV and GD and Q. I loved it. Oh, thank you! I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I had such an awesome time doing that run. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna be, uh, cause the, the Pixel Remaster of four comes out on September 8th. So I'm gonna do a full casual playthrough of it. Um, I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'll like 100% it. I i don't really like saying that, oh yeah, I'm gonna 100% thing, cause then what if I don't wanna get this one random tiny thing that's annoying? <laughs> but with that said, I'm probably gonna do all the optional bosses and stuff. And uh, I wanna test out and see whether or not the same glitches can be done. I'm really curious if you can still do misskip and stuff like that, because if you can, then I want to run Pally Percent on it. The pink puffs alone, the imp and bomb summon. Don't do it. <laughs> A quiz store. You, you approve of me 100%ing Bat and Kaidos, but not Final Fantasy IV? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're doing good, Punisher. You started Death Sword the other day. Oh, I'm glad also, hi, Jay. How are you doing, by the way? Oh, no. I won't be in a hot tub at all, Blackjack. I won't get anywhere near one. Basically, we're going to Photoshop Ollie into a hot tub because, fun fact, birds can't swim. So we're going to Photoshop her into a hot tub because hot tub streams are totally all the rage. And that incentive is definitely not months behind. Totally not. Anthony, how are you? Also, yes, this is Final Fantasy 1, but the font is all wingdings. Would 100% Final Fantasy 4 include all the summon drops for Midia? I would assume so. Egg! There's a lot of stuff for FF4 is 100%, so I'm like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if it would be worth doing, like, literally everything. It came from user space! I really like that name. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Is that my favorite category? Uh, yes. I, although, granted, to be fair, I have not actually tried the other Final Fantasy IV categories yet. I'd like to one of these days hype myself up and finally try no CW. It's just, you know, it's like a two and a half hour run. And I have a really hard time with basically anything that's more than about an hour because I have a hard time sitting in one place. <laughs> but I may eventually try it. Um, 
Final Fantasy IX is actually my favorite Final Fantasy, and I would totally speedrun it if it weren't for the fact that the run is nine hours. I have, however, considered doing the meme run of it, which is with the super duper sped up stuff from the HD hey! remaster. Bard, love, bard, love, bard, hype, bard, hype. And all of the like cheats and stuff enabled. I think that one's like three and a half hours where you just burn through the whole game. Okay, that's fair, Vincent. Penguins can swim, but Ollie can't. <laughs> Sadly, my my best bird buddy is unable to swim. Is it possible to have 100% of the items in the FF inventory at a time? I have no idea. I don't know. Can you tell me something about these remasters I can't read because wingdings? Absolutely, Ash, please do. Thank you for asking. Ooh, I definitely need to heal our party up too out of combat here. Not gonna lie, I did have a dream last night and some of it involved wingdings, Aeon, so you're not wrong. Okay, let's see. There's one that's uppy. Oh yeah, and then all of these other ones also have treasure. Hi Neo, thank you! Definitely, totally planned, yep. Totally planned. I mean, my shirt, I guess, is more of like a salmon. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even think about the fact that she was wearing a pink shirt. Now, so am I. <laughs> the the black belt sprite is actually me, but it is not a me from Soikiden 2. Hi, Dust Wolfman. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy 1, except for we have custom sprites made by one of my community members. And also, we're playing it in Wingdings. Um, it works by me at first not understanding any wingdings whatsoever, but then slowly becoming afraid of myself as I start to understand symbols that should be nonsense. But uh, if you would like to modify pixel remasters on Steam, it's actually not too hard. I believe there's a Discord for people who are doing that. But like, even if you just wanted to change the font to something else that you prefer, like, I played Final Fantasy III's Pixel Remaster with Mystic Quest pixel font, and it was dope. And that was super simple to do. Hi, Iramar, how are you doing? Hi, Ollie. Hi. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure that there are, because there's like ROM hacks, I think, of of other Final Fantasies, for sure, Neo. And like the randomizer for Final Fantasy VI, or, or one of them, Worlds Collide, I know that one definitely has alternate sprites that are randomized. Uh, Final Fantasy IV's Free Enterprise randomizer has different sprites. And there's like hundreds, literally hundreds of customized Zerima sprites, too. So it's definitely doable on the non-Steam versions, just far more complicated. Oh, you can do the custom sprites for the FF1 randomizer as well. Nice! I actually haven't tried the FF1 rando. Hi, Jesus the Frog. How are you doing? You're watching a free enterprise race this morning. Oh my god, the Zero Miss Spray with Super Shredder. I haven't seen that one. Couldn't be 
the font be cursive for calligraphy? The font can be pretty much anything that you can fit into the same format that the font goes in, which I don't really know a whole lot about creating the fonts. I just know that it's super duper easy to replace the font with one that someone else has made, because that's all I've done. Ooh, also, this is a good opportunity to use Diaga. Oh, Freddy Ears was commentating, cool! FF1R is super fun, you've gotten into it recently. Is it, um, is it the NES version? Would you have randomizers of, like, PBA and stuff as well? Hey, Sir Pico, how are you doing? I have, I've actually played and beaten the bouncer on stream before Punisher. Uh, one of our community members, Duel, actually did redeem another playthrough of the bouncer that I haven't been able to do yet. It's in the back of my head. I need to figure out whether or not my PS2 can actually be repaired. It doesn't currently read discs. Um, either that or buy a new one. Hi, Ollie. What is it? Oh my goodness. Hi. Do you hear stuff going on in the living room? Uh, we've had a second one redeemed Punisher. We haven't had a third one redeemed. But I did promise one day, if we redeemed the bouncer a total of three times, then I would make one final big redemption for the bouncer that if we hit it, I would try to learn the speed run of the bouncer. Hi. Hi, Ollie. Yo, you have a tiny red feather. That's, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You have a tiny red one coming out there. Yeah. You think it's only the NES version? Oh, dang. I've never actually played the NES version of Final Fantasy 1. I think Ollie might really want to go out into the living room because I think he's hearing my husband do something out there. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go see what your dad's up to? Yeah. Okay, one sec, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Ollie on one of her perches over there so that she can see what's going on. If you hadn't redeemed some treats and eat crystals, you'd do the third bouncer. <laughs> I really need to figure out what's going on with my PS2 so that I can do the second one that Duel redeemed. One Okay, I'm back. Uh, apparently what happened that <laughs> made the lads down in the living room, well, our living room kitchen, for those of you who are new to my community, Hans Spoonie and me and my husband and Cat and Bird live in a RV full time. So our kitchen and living room are basically the same room, but my husband opened the freezer and basically everything in the freezer came tumbling out <laughs> for whatever reason. It was just like, ah, yes, the pressure from opening the door, just everything just slid right out. So that's what made that ruckus. And Ollie was like, oh my God, what's happening? Hi. Also, look, we had a kitty. This is my cat, Luna. She came to say hi, yeah? Did you come say hi? Yeah? Yeah, did you? Did you say hello? Yes. Are you trying to let me know? that you came back here and now you're like, I want out. Yeah, is that why you were rubbing all over my leg? Yeah, you came back here to say hi and now you want to go away. <laughs> That's my cat, Luna. <laughs> yeah, you lost it, Freezer Jenga, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, we live in a, it's a 33 foot long RV, Paul. Uh, there is actually, if you click on an Instagram link, that's a picture of it. We call it the Toko Bus. And I fit all of my consoles very carefully. There is a cabinet above my head where I can keep usually three or four consoles that I'm currently playing. And then the rest of them, um, above the camera here, there is a couple of other like really big long cabinets that go across the whole way, like literally from, from like here. And then totally off camera some, there are a couple of other cabinets that I keep the rest of my consoles in and I have to swap them out depending on what I want to play. <laughs> Hi Jillionaire! Hi Fragalax! How are y'all doing? Oh, back when you were a kid and PS2s were brand new, you ended up getting a defective one. Oh jeez! Oh that sucks Punisher, I'm sorry. Uh, the PS2 that me, my brother, and my sister and I had growing up worked super well. It lasted for a really long time. Um, until one day I had honestly played it so much and me and my brother used to totally leave it on overnight um, grinding out levels in like FF7 and FF8 <laughs> so one day it started doing this weird thing where you'd play it for a while and it would start to get these weird green lines in the video feed and then after about an hour it would go black and white and then about 15 minutes after that it would lose all video at all It lost all video entirely. I definitely traded it into GameStop though while the video still worked for like 10 minutes. Cause I knew they were just gonna take it apart for parts anyway. And we got a slim after that. But that, that thing lasted like, I don't know, at least 10 years. And that was with me also playing Final Fantasy XI on it for like seven hours a day for three years. <laughs> oh, you had an RV when you were younger but never stayed in it for long? You always love storms when you're in it though. Yeah, the rain, the rain does get pretty loud, but it is super soothing whenever you're sleeping because I love rain. Hey, Space Dandy. No, don't worry. We haven't done the Ollie hot tub stuff yet. That'll be in September, because uh, I'll have to Photoshop it all together. <laughs> He's fired, Yeti. You still have the PS2 your brother bought at its initial release? Yo, that's awesome. It's definitely a smaller space than I feel like most people are probably used to living in you. But Angry Trees and I, I don't know, this was like six or seven years ago. We used to live in Texas, and after saving up for about a year, we sold the vast majority of our stuff. We fit everything else either, like, there were like a couple of boxes that we left in my parents' place to put into storage of things that we didn't want to get rid of, but also were maybe too valuable to bring with us. Um, but everything else we stuffed into our Prius and we drove from Texas to California to LA and we lived there for three years. One time of which we lived in a very, very tiny, like 300 something square foot studio apartment. <laughs> so honestly, like going from that to an RV wasn't that big of a difference. It's a small amount of space square footage wise. And I definitely do not think that we would want even a single other person, but it's like perfect for me and my husband and our two pets. There's a lot of storage space, too. Hi, Q Marsh. You haven't seen too much of this ruin, but is the white wizard two cats in a robe? It's a, it's actually Ollie and Luna in a robe together. <laughs> so close. Oh, when you got a PS3, you got a bunch of the HD remakes. Playing those made up for your bad PS2 experience. Good! I'm glad. I'm glad something made it up made up for it for you. It is really nice not having rent or a mortgage. Um, we paid a lot of money to live in LA. And it, like, it's a great place to live, but it's very expensive. 
Oh, you live in LA, Bob. And without getting in on rent control 10 years ago, you wouldn't be able to afford living there. Yeah, we, um, the apartment we lived in didn't have rent control. So when we first got an apartment there, it was like expensive, but it was also like the most affordable that we could find in the area. Like it was still quite a bit cheaper than the other places in the area. And then every year they added like another hundred dollars a month to the rent. So by the time we left, it was like we could have, you know, afford afforded to buy a house like two times over in Texas for that. <laughs> we didn't really want to move back though because it's too hot there. So instead, we got an RV. And now we can pretty much live wherever we want, which is pretty dope. And we've been doing that for, I think, like four years now? totally forgot to answer to be honest because I got distracted and then it scrolled by and I just kind of missed it but <laughs> uh, internet is a bit complicated but the too long didn't read is that we have a old unlimited data plan that no longer exists and we have uh, antenna that point towards different cellular towers and so we figured out which one has the best connection and the best speed and all that and we're able to like change bands and stuff which you can technically do on your phone by the way you can actually change what band your phone is pulling on if your phone's being too slow and trying to fix it uh, but basically through some really fancy finagling uh, we figured out decent enough internet for us to play games and stream and stuff and our internet's definitely not as good as a lot of people's we don't have like 200 down or anything that wild but it's plenty usable Not gonna lie, your mobile hotspot works better than your actual internet. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, Chevro, is I feel like for some folks, that's totally how it is. That's that's basically what we do is like a mobile hotspot, but a lot more complicated. <laughs> like we have a router that we have a SIM card in and we point antennas certain locations. So that's how it works. Ooh, that's an up, actually. Oh, monkey can, okay. Monkey can equip that, then yes. And also yes to that. Oh, I didn't check. Can you equip that new shield? No. All right, so we open those. I need to go back north. Oh, what do you mean? Vivi's always had really big googly eyes. I think that was just Gil. Yeah. I say just Gil, like we don't need it, but no, we do. don't remember how to get to that chest on the right. I think you have to come around from another floor or something? Oh, sorry. One
sorry, Angry Trees is asking me a question. And also now we have a cat. <laughs> Do any of the places we stay ever have wired internet as an option? No. <laughs> I mean, some of the places we've stayed have offered Wi-Fi, but it's usually pretty bad. <laughs> we've never been a place that's offered wired internet. Oh my goodness, some cats are just wild today. <laughs> Y'all need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got like a, a pet circus going on behind me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, maybe the mermaids are just hanging out, having a good time. Your last house, you had cable internet. Paid 100 a month to get 100 down, and you were lucky to get 25 on a good day. New house, out in a more rural, less developed area, and it has freaking gigabyte fiber. That's so wild. Uh, something else that Angry Trees and I have been looking at, and well, it sucks because, like, they said, oh, you know, mid to late 2021, and I'm like, I, it's kind of, I guess, smack in the middle of that now, was uh, Starlink. And we're still hoping that'll work out, but who knows when it's actually going to happen? <laughs> Ali, step up. Come on. I literally just moved you. Oh, also, by the way, I want to point out another thing I love about the Pixel Remaster is that it shows you which doors you've opened. That's super swaggy. Holly. Yeah, Luna and Ollie typically get along really well, actually. They like to watch each other. <laughs> they kind of keep each other entertained. Hi, bud. But I think that maybe me streaming early the past few days has had both Ollie and Luna thrown off a little bit. Okay, so we got the treasure from upstairs. So now I think we just want to go back downstairs, if I remember right. Dragon. Hey, Slammy, how are y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, honestly, Christor, Angry Trees and I are starting to get a little bit, um, a little unsure whether or not Starlink's is really going to be real. We'll see. We're thinking about just saying screw it and upgrading our router instead of continuing to wait. Ollie beeps right as you punched a guy in the game. You're playing. <laughs> Maybe that's the new sound effect. Hi, Sparkster. How are you? Ollie, I love you, sweetheart, but I'm going to need you to just chill, okay? I know. I know. Are we having a time because our schedule's different? It's okay. It's okay. I bite the mermaids. Oh no. Can we bite Kraken instead? I mean, at least Kraken, we know, probably deserves it. Hi! Have a good one, Paul. Thank you for joining us. What's up, Ollie? It's gonna 
can get me every time. <laughs> Lurfeagle, thank you for gifting two subs to the community. Welcome on in to Trojan Hogan and Warren's Zangray. I hope you enjoy those lovely emotes. Curse you, Bagel. Beep. Beep. Boop. Holly, do you want to go back? Will Chil Chilling over there help a little? Yeah. No? Oh my goodness. Kittymon bites a lot of different things, so <laughs> they're not really out of the question. Yeah, apologies for all of the extra Ollie squeaks today. I I think she's just maybe a little bit thrown off by my schedule being different. Ollie, you've got food over there, buddy. And it's unfortunately a somewhat similar circumstance when, and this is only from what I've heard because I'm not a parent, that sometimes when your kid is throwing a tantrum, you just kind of have to let them get it out of themselves. Because if you give them too much attention, then they think that, uh, well, that's the way I can get attention, is throwing a tantrum. Let's see, where are all the other rooms for treasure here? If there are any. I can't even get to that side at the moment, so... Okay, let's just go up. Hi! 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 wants out there. Yeah. Do you want to go outside? Or not outside, but do you want to go out in the living room with your daddy? Okay, bud. Yeah. Okay, bud. <laughs> oh, the guy you knew who was best with kids was a zookeeper? <laughs> well, you know, um, at least in this particular case, Congo African Greys kind of have the emotional intelligence of a three-year-old. They get, you know, they get jealous. They get scared of things. They also get anxiety, so... In that sense, Ollie and I understand each other very well. <laughs> Out fine. That is an empty room. Yo, also, we're now only 59 sub points from another Bizhawk Shuffler night. You and Ollie have something in common. You both have the emotional maturity of a three-year-old. Oh, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. How are you doing today? Fire! Bonk. Boop the snake on the nose with a hammer until it goes.
kill. Kill, 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 kill. Kills in that treasure chest. Kill, 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 kill. That's a lot of scorpions. Kind of like how rats have a lot of the cognitive capabilities of a three-year-old. I actually did not know that rats had the cognitive capability of a three-year-old. That's pretty cool. Angry eyebrows, Vivi, go! I love, I love those eyebrows so much. There's a lot of rooms everywhere. I'm gonna go up here first. Okay, there is treasure in every single room, so they're all worth fighting. And by fighting, I mean doing things, and also I'm just going to avoid that enemy, because that used to be a trap tile, but it's not anymore. I have Slammy! I love Final Fantasy V. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, I got some kind of helmet. And I got another sword. That's the old one. Uh, that's the new helmet. Can't be Tiara. <gasps> oh my god, is this a ribbon? That's a ribbon. That's a hecking ribbon. I think that might have been before I started highlighting stuff. I don't know, Ash Dragon, that's a good question. Who's the better giant armored warlock villain, Bulbaz or X Death? That's honestly a really difficult question to answer. <laughs> I'm not sure! I want to lean towards x Death because he has such a freaking banger of a song. His theme is all bangers. You can't get your head around this. That's okay. I mean, you don't really have to, I guess, because um, it's just, uh, you know, I'm the one dealing with this. This is Final Fantasy 1 and Wingdings. Hi, Chris Games. How do I read all of the symbols? I hey. don't. <laughs> Thanks for coming by last night, and you're a banger. Enigma, thank you for 33 months. Happy belated birthday. I hope you had an awesome rest of your birthday yesterday, dude. Um, this is the wingdings I was talking about yesterday, by the way, when you asked how I was doing. I... This is how I'm playing Final Fantasy right now. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm not about to change. <laughs>
You're not stupid for not understanding Wingding, Zap. That's silly. I mean, I can't name a single person that fluently understands Wingdings. I just happen to slowly be absorbing this information that is completely useless because I thought it would be funny to stream this for one day and then that part of my brain that likes to do really dumb shit was like, but what if we beat it though? And here I am. Time. I'm glad. A good idea for the three or five is to make this price for well, like a dissidia. Oh. That would be kind of cool, Carl. I mean, that's the cool thing is you can actually change the sprites to just about whatever you like as long as it fits within the box. Oh, I did not realize that they cast stone on my monk. I should probably fix that. Do, 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 do. Yay! Guess who can read Stona? It's me, Spoony. We should be getting pretty close to Kraken too, which means we'll have a third crystal. And then all we have left is all the Rosetta Stone stuff. And then fighting Tiamat. Let's see, ooh, wait. Oh my God, I forgot, what's the pointing up one? This might be giant's gloves. Those might be giant's gloves? I do this only for what the is going on. Less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna try them out at Chris Store and see if those are actually Giants gloves. I think they are. Jesus, thank you so much for the six month race up. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Well, I was gonna try to use them, but then we destroyed everything. <laughs> But I really think they are. Uh, wait a minute, but here... The pointy down is an H. Because this is a high potion. So wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, that's right. That's the pointy up one. Yeah, I think that is a G. I think I'm right. Speaking of which... I should be using my regular potions more anyway, because I bought, like, 99 of them. You've been meaning to ask, why does my black mage have googly eyes? Well, why wouldn't he have googly eyes? So better to see all of the magic with. stall for a round. Yeah! They are! Oh my god, I was right! I can read some wingdings! 
Giant's gloves! Giant's gloves! They are giant's gloves. Hell yeah. Okay, so I missed the one treasure chest over there. That's what it was. Yep, free saber. Hi, Turtle, how are you doing? <laughs> no worries, Sam. You have a good rest. Sorry for uh, wind dinging your brain. <laughs> I am. I'm kind of ascending to a plane that uh, I'm going to call the Wingding Matrix. Vivi has seen everything, Tacky. <laughs> Vivi has seen everything. Seeing beyond the physical world to the magic within all of us. You could even say that Vivi is the reason why everything's in Wingding. This is just how he sees the world. We're seeing the world through Vivi's googly eyes. Light axe. Light axe. We just got a light axe. Well, unfortunately, I can't equip that, so I'm gonna have to vendor it. We just got a light axe. We just got a light axe. We just got a light axe. And I can read wingding. I think you're right though, Astral. I think you can still use it. And is that the one that casts, um... That one casts some kind of lightning spell, doesn't it? Hi, Vorpal. Yeah, it's not weird. It's winding. Haven't you ever seen a woman play through Final Fantasy in Wingdings before? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna use it and we'll find out. Also, I wanna use the power staff and I can't remember what that does either. Oh, well it missed, so whatever it is, it missed. Oh yeah, that's right, power staff is Fyra. scare me. Also, hi, how you doing? Can't see you have, it's truly a life first here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, talk about a wonderful life, right? You just wake up one afternoon and suddenly there's a woman on the internet trying to beat Final Fantasy 1 and old windings. I think men could beat Final Fantasy and Wingdings. I mean, why not? I think anyone could beat Final Fantasy and Wingdings if they tried. There's no restrictions. Wingdings opens its wings to everyone. You're more used to seeing techie sprites than the default ones now? Yeah, now the default ones are gonna look weird to me. Have a good one, Blackjack. Thanks for joining us. Let's 
16. That is an empty room. Uncle oh, Ernot right. has a go present go for you! Deathcrawler! Thank you for giving a sub to the community. Welcome on in to Sia. Oh my god, I hope you enjoy 30 days of lovely emotes courtesy of Deathcrawler! Yeah! Guys, gals, non-binary pals, everybody can enjoy wingdings. As the kids say, we're all wingdinging it! Make it a thing, like fetch, but better. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face saying that. I mean, honestly, that's that's basically my life goal is to eventually become that grandma that's so uncool that she is actually cool. Really, Jukat? Exactly! We're gonna underflow the cool. We're gonna MP underflow that cool. <laughs> hey, General Agrippa, how are you doing? Those dings didn't know what wings hit them. <laughs> Deathcrawler, enjoy your lurk. Your goal is to be that old guy that doesn't understand the trends and yells at clouds. But the real question is, are you gonna yell at Cloud Strife? I'm doing awesome, thank you for asking. I'm already having a great day and I feel like I just sat down. Which I know is inherently untrue. Because we've been here for like two hours, but it doesn't feel that way. If he needs to be yelled at, then you'll, you'll tell him. Okay, I want to try to use this again uh, and see what it does, so. No, it missed again. All right, I'll just ask. Hey chat, does anybody know what the light ax does? Oh, it's Diara. That makes sense. No wonder it's not hitting these things. They aren't undead. Thank you, Fairly. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong, Neo. FF7 is pretty much about Cloud getting his head straight and dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder and a whole lot of other issues. I just want to give Cloud a hug, honestly. He's had a rough time of it. That's what your brain should say to wingdings, but mine doesn't. Hoy there. Good. Good. We're here now. Hey, Kraken, what's up? <laughs> oh, hey, that's how you spell Kraken and Wingdings. I love how the capital K is just... <laughs> Now we have 
some cool sunglasses. Also, hey, I did totally hit the wrong spell on the white mage, but it's cool because actually I, I've had pretty good accuracy overall. I want this one. again. them like the non-black pixels transparent but because of the fact that ours are custom it turns out a little different also also yes um monk who is now a black belt is our physical character so she just punches shit i need to go revive uh poor can't And let's go stay at the inn, cause Uchi's my face. That's true, that is really all the monk needs is to be able to punch stuff and have a few items for haste. And temper. Okay, so we got the water crystal. I did it. something A. L-E? That is. Well, I think what, what somebody said the other day about what happened with the Peninsula of Power is that it disappeared because they had to either had to or did shift around the map tiles. And the only reason why the power, you know, Peninsula of Power existed was due to the way that map tiles worked in the NES and other versions. 
Um, obviously, all of the spells function is intended. <laughs> Uh, the Hilgigas hallway exists, but since they don't have, uh, they don't have tiles, like trap tiles anymore, somebody told me there's like three NPCs you can talk to that initiate a battle, and then you can just leave and come back and they'll respawn. I've never played the Wonderswan version of FF1. In fact, I didn't even realize there was one. But I do know that the PS1 and G Game Boy Advance versions have the spells fixed as well. Okay, I'm trying to remember where you're supposed to go after you beat the crap out of the Kraken. I know that we need to find the Rosetta Stone. But I don't remember where, and I don't know what this thing is that we have. I have this weird feeling, I don't know if I came back here one time for something else, but I have this feeling I need to come back here for some reason. Maybe not though. Oh, the Wonder Swan version only came out in Japan. <laughs> I guess I will say that this is a decent test for whether or not I could play my Super Famicom versions of Final Fantasy V and VI. <laughs> Donkin. I'm trying to decide whether I want to ask for help on where to go next because I don't really remember. Like, I'm fairly certain at one point we have to go into that cool desert tower, but I can't get there at the moment, I don't think? I guess I could walk over there and go try. But I don't think that I can currently access that. I think I have to get the Rosetta Stone first. Barry Mike, how are you? How badly do I want to finish the game this stream? Pretty badly. <laughs> yeah, the airship has googly eyes too. Also the canoe and the boat. Both had them as well. Um, okay, I'll start off with, hey chat, what the heck is this item? I got P blank blank A L E, and I don't know what that is. Doing all right, I'm glad to hear that, Barry. The wing ding is actually going pretty well, I just beat the crap out of Kraken. Is the third letter a Y? Hmm. Oh, okay, that must be the item the bottled fairy gave me for the oxygen. That's weird because usually the flag is a capital P. So that one got funky somehow. That's super strange. Cause like, it, is, unless, is it a different flag? Oh my God, there's two flags? Yo, you're right! Oh my god, there are two flags. I didn't realize there were two of them, that's why. <laughs> I 
I didn't realize that there were two of them. Okay, so yeah, that's not, that's an item that we just used for Kraken. We still have the loot. Which I think comes into play at some point. Soonish. everybody no problem <laughs> no problem like I I think that I still need a key item because I'm pretty sure we have to talk to this kid with the Rosetta stone if, if I'm remembering that right uh, this is what I have right now at Crystor. You have disappointed they didn't give the main castle a pair of googly eyes. I don't know if we knew where to find those sprites, Orma. <laughs> the googly eyes on the ships and everything were actually a last minute add-on in the middle of the first stream. Also, hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm fairly certain that we still need the Rosetta Stone. I just don't recall where to get it. <laughs> but I think that's the next thing that we have to pick up is the Rosetta Stone. And then I think we come back and talk to this kid and then he helps us like decipher it or something. I just miss getting the item. Cause yeah, he has to like transcribe it for us. And then we can talk to those dudes. Um, crack, where was that town? Is it this one? I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Maybe I don't remember. I think it's this one. Because we came here before, and that's the one where they were talking about all the mailboxes. And normally in the game, that's where they have like a bunch of letters and dot dot dots, and you can't understand them. But I didn't talk to all of the NPCs. So I must have just missed picking up an item there that we need to take down. Sunken Temple. I want to say that maybe it's one of the NPCs on the left or right side. I just don't remember who. <laughs> and I, they all are wearing the same robe and everything. And well, I can't understand what they're saying anyway. So even more so than usual. How are you doing? Hi, Jeffy. How are you?
Yeah, none of them are giving me anything. Unless, is it, hey chat, is it one of the mermaids in the sunken temple and I missed talking to them because I didn't bother talking to them because it was all in wingdings anyway? <laughs> I think that might have been it. Ugh. Technically, no. There was that one room that we didn't go to and it was probably in there. You're doing okay. I'm glad to hear that, cool. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Yeah, I think I know where it is, although I don't remember how to get to that room. But it's that one room that I was like, shoot, I don't remember how to get there. I'll come back later, and then I didn't. <sighs> yeah, so I just need to take the upstairs path again in the sunken temple, and I should be able to get there. I was just like, heck, I know I missed something dumb somewhere. Hey, Rockin', how are you doing? Hi, Simtor. Um, I can read some wingdings. Not all of it, but I am learning a few letters, weirdly. Hey! Have a good one, Anxiety. Thank you for joining us. You have a wonderful night. That's true. We do get to hear some of the best music in the game again. So is it really a loss? I'm going to go with no. I'm gonna swing by the inn because I don't remember if I did that earlier. And then we'll head back to the sun sunken temple and we will just run upstairs and try to remember how the heck to get to that one room that I missed. Hey Heather, how are you? Also, thank you for the help, chat! Thanks for helping me remember things that I forgot while also trying to decipher wingdings constantly. <laughs> it really hacks with your brain when you're trying to remember things about a game you've played and also try to translate wingdings. Yeah, just like after you get the Rosetta Stone, turn off the wingdings, because oh, now you can read them. <laughs> Let's see. So, yeah, I want to go upstairs. Hey, Ollie. Wow, that was a big down feather. <laughs> You're doing okay? I'm glad to hear that, Heather. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. But Ros yeah, I guess that's true. The Rosetta Stone only teaches you the ancient language. So unless we're saying that Wingdings is the ancient language, which I guess it could be. treasure on this floor. I feel like we've got plenty of XP actually running around the sunken temple, so I'm just gonna run away from all the combat as we try to grab this stuff. Oh my god, also, hey chat, can y'all do me a favor and remind me that I need to go buy teleport and exit? 
I just realized I think that's why I went back to the elf town after I got the class change. Is that they had some spells that I couldn't learn and those were them. Ancient wingdings. Ancient wingding prophecy. Ollie is riding Luna now. That is correct. Okay, so... Oh, I see where I missed it. I see where I missed it. So S is the teeny tiny diamond symbol, lowercase s's. That's a lowercase s. The capital and lowercase letters are actually different symbols, Mtor. So there's 26 lowercase, 26 uppercase, and then there's also the numbers. Like trying to remember which one of these you can walk around. right it's like an actual screen wrap around that's why I forgot about it sneaky 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 I forgot about that now we found the Rosetta Stone Now I can leave. <laughs> Yay! I don't know if I would call it the walk of shame, but I will call it the walk of Spoonie forgot to buy exit. Cone, I'm doing good. How are you doing today? The stride of pride. <laughs> Yo, I'm down for that. I got pride. You know, and you will go this way. Thank you, Yars! <laughs> yeah, I need to stop by the Elf Town and buy those. Which is just kind of sad since I totally went there and forgot about it. Magic deck while playing FF14. What kind of deck are you building? Wait, we're beans now? Why why are we beans, Techie? We 
you've almost escaped. Almost. Okay. Yes. Board the barrel. I mean the submarine. <laughs> Definitely not just a barrel. I do still really appreciate that it's yellow. Alright. I'm gonna save my game. And let's walk back to our lovely airship. Bonk the turtle! You're building a black, white, red vampire deck for Commander? Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's see. So we are going to take the Rosetta Stone. We are going to give it to this mysterious man in a broken down village. Who is like, I am a scholar! Yes, well, I am an adventurer. Have this rock. Translate it for me, please. Oh my god, I can't believe you found the Rosetta Stone! My life's work is about to be complete! Give me just about two seconds here. I'm gonna walk in a square next to a river. I'm gonna definitely not drop the Rosetta Stone in the river by accident, and I am instead going to translate it for you. I mean, definitely not make up this speech as I go along. Thanks, buddy! Yeah, I need, to pick, I need to pick up Exton and Warp. I don't think they're in this town. I think they're in the elf town? So I need to swing by the elf town real quick. Yeah, her character just nods like, okie dokie. Ooh! Okay then. Thanks so much for translating that there rock! Hey! Hey! Bye, thanks. You're grinding some gill and XP mindlessly for a while, and you think you walked into Mount Golg over leveled. Oh, yeah, I think you're higher level than I am, Shadow. <laughs> I mean, I can't be sure, because I don't really know what level I am. I think it's at the other store. Hey, Louie, enjoy your lurk. Hi, Cooney, how are you? The wingdings are going good going quite well. We have the water crystal now. We also just picked up the Rosetta Stone and got it translated, and I am picking up Exit and Warp. Or I thought they were here. Maybe Exit somewhere else? Floopity floopity. I'm trying to remember which store has exit. Maybe that was in Gaia. That might have been in Gaia. I'm gonna double check Gaia as well. I do remember there were a few spells in Gaia that I couldn't pick up at the time.
That would be hilarious to remind her. <laughs> also, hi, how you doing? Nope, that's break. Spells. You know what? I'm gonna just ask. Hey, chat. Where can I pick up Exit and Warp? Because I know that I saw them at some point, but I don't remember what town that was. My only other guess is um, literally the town that I went to with the submarine and I just forgot to check. Or maybe they were... Yeah, maybe they were in Crescent Town? Because I haven't looked there. Hey, Club Prodigy. Thank you. How are you doing? Okay, Crescent does have exit. Thank you, Orma. I'll check there for Warp as well. Was Melmond for teleport? I fully admit I have no idea which town is Melmond. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is exit. Which, hey, now my red wizard can actually learn spells from this tier, which that's cool. You're doing good, I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Goog would also apply since we have googly eyed characters. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we don't want death. I hope we pick that up for the red wizard. Honestly, I don't even know if I really want to bother with teleport. I don't end up using it very often, if at all. Oh, the town I was just in, that's Melman's. All right, well, if I swing by there for any reason, maybe we'll pick it up. But I got exit. Yeah, teleport uh, puts you back one floor. Exit exits you out of the dungeon entirely. Hear you out. Accented characters. The people you need Rosetta Stone for have two lines of dialogue. One with the stone and one without based on plot flag. If you rewrite their second dialogue to use accented characters and add normal letters for those accented characters, you can make it possible to have them be normal text after getting the Rosetta Stone. Chris Story, how dedicated to goofily modding Final Fantasy are you? <laughs> Yes, I can understand you, but at the same time, I can't. I don't know what you're saying to me, but I think one of you should give me an item now. So I'm just gonna talk to every single one of you until I figure out which one of you gives me an item that I need. It's this one. Uh, you received, what did I 
received. C something I something E. Maybe I can figure out what they are. Yeah, that's an L, okay. Cause that's, no, that's an H. Cause that's a uh, Thundaga. Yeah, that's an H. So C H I blank E. Chime? Yeah, I think that's the chime we need for the desert. Crystal is slowly reaching the point of Hammond from Jurassic Park. <laughs> you're a man that owns two ovens. You don't know how that relates to this, but you think by now you're technically insane. I feel like it's fair to say, Crystal, that if you're insane, I probably also am, considering I agreed to play this for a day. And then continued on to just keep playing it. Now I'm just playing it, okay? Hey, good booty fishes, how are you doing? You doing good? I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Oh, you're playing Animal Crossing. Nice, Chris. Oh, I love Animal Crossing. Are you on New Horizons or one of the earlier ones? Well, isn't it Alice in Wonderland that says if we weren't all at least a little bit mad that the world would be terribly boring? I don't know how happy, honored, and tickled pink you are that what was a goofy idea for a one-shot is the entire three-day capstone of Awesome August. I mean... This pretty much encapsulates the kind of bullshit I enjoy creating content out of on Twitch, so. <laughs> I feel like Final Fantasy Wingdings is the essence of this stream. Especially with all these wonderful custom sprites Techie made. All right, I'm gonna swing by and in real quick. Oh, sorry, I guess they can't land on the town. My bad. ship right on the end. I'm sure they won't mind. Y'all got a dock here, right?
All right, so we need to go to the desert over here on Pterodactyl Island, which is what I always call it because I swear it looks like a giant blob of a pterodactyl. Sirs, I have a chime. Do you mind? I could you could you like avoid trying to kill me? No? No, you can't avoid trying to kill me for one second. Hacking jerk ass red turtles. <laughs> Bad llama! Oh yeah, that's right. Nothing fancy happened. We just, uh... There we go. Oh man! Gaining in key areas without hitting a random battle's band! That's a bummer. <laughs> okay, uh, we've been live for almost three hours, so I think before we head into our next main dungeon, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna stretch my legs, get myself something to drink, and when we come back, there will be more video games? More video games sound good? Sounds pretty good to me. We need one more crystal. And then we're gonna hopefully be able to beat the crab out of chaos. I'm trying my best to finish out Final Fantasy Wingdings today. We currently have a little over four hours left on the clock for the subathon. Once that time runs out, the stream's over! But I will try my best to beat Final Fantasy Wingdings with however much time we get. If you are curious how you can add more time to the subathon, or if you're curious about some of the other awesome things that you can unlock for Awesome August, for today only, because today is the last day, you can click on that pastebin link. There's a whole bunch more info. Thank you all so much for all the support so far. Thank you for hanging out. Don't go too far, because if you do, you will miss Wingdings. And that is clearly unacceptable, because why would you want to miss Wingdings? Yeah! Booty loves cheese! Seems, seems wrong to miss Wingdings. <laughs> cool! Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Welcome on into Zealous Raptor, Shovelicious, Dinosaurium, Darkman Doug, and Sarah Orion. I hope y'all enjoy 30 days of emotes. I'll be back. I need more caffeine. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like our hearts were never tired. My desires were set free, was like a raging wildfire. But now that spark has grown dark, we're now just dying embers. Afraid I'll end up all alone within these cold Decembers.
Alright y'all, I'm back. Sorry for the uh, a little bit longer wait than usual for my break time. Angry Trees and I have been um, dealing with Ollie and Luna because they're in particular moods today. <laughs> it's one of those Sundays, I guess?
Oh yeah, were y'all talking about text-to-speech wingding messages? <laughs> yeah, they weren't too shabby. Um, not too shabby at all, really. So are you gonna try to run her? If she will. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Medium Square, Victory Hand, A-OK -okay Hand, Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down, Pointing Finger, Raised Hand, Smiley Face, Neutral Face, Frowning Face, Bomb, Skull, Airplane, Droplet, Snowflake, Star of David, Star and Crescent, Open Folder, Paper, File Cabinet, Hourglass, Trackball, Folder. Folder. what you just said to me, Chris, or... <laughs> I think that's R-U at the beginning. I said abdef geikel nuks to vzize abdef geikel nuks to vzize 1,234,567,888 times 1,234 Yep. You sure did, Chris Thor. Thank you. Thank you for the 500 <laughs> Cancer Orma, that's the two crab claws. A Christopher is just trying to summon Gaster, don't worry about it. Oh, hey, look, vampires. You remember when this guy was a boss? translate to in some wingdings. I just haven't been using them for the playthrough because I thought that that would be cheating. I thought it would be a lot more fun if I just tried to translate it myself. Also, I do apologize in advance, but literally, like, both of our pets today have just been absolutely effing bonkers, and they will not stop. So, um, I am just trying my best here. <laughs> Two whole years. Bard That's love, bard love, time. bard love, bard hype, bard hype, bard hype. Thank you so much for two whole years, sweet sloth. Welcome back. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Run away, run away, run away, run away. golden needles go. There we go.
Yeah, I can't run. I'm a rock. <laughs> I'll just roll on out. Pretty well. I'm glad to hear that, sweet sloth. So when you animals are being crazy, you know that can be stressful sometimes. Yeah! I'm feeling quite stressed in this particular moment, but otherwise I am having a good day! <laughs> I'm just hoping they'll both calm down soon. Yeah, birds and cats. They're, they're pretty smart sometimes. I mean, to be fair, I can't really blame either of them. It's just unfortunate that they don't have the human advantage of growing up, becoming an adult, and learning how you're supposed to deal with your emotions properly. They, they just, they don't have that ability. So they do that sometimes. But they're fluffy and cute. And very loving. Oh yeah, that's also fair, Bob. Sometimes I still don't know how to deal with my emotions. Heck, emotions are complicated. Monk punch is really hard now. Life is hard, I agree. That's why I'm here playing video games. They don't have the ability to do so, so they have a very limited way of telling us how they feel. That's why we have root beer floats and cookies. I mean, those are really delicious things. Dude, I should have got root beer for root beer floats. We were talking about those the other day, too, weren't we? I'm pretty sure we were. I really want to rope your float. Yeah, somehow we've reached the point where three digits is sometimes not very much help on this. Also, hi, how are you doing? Oh, your cat boops you on the nose. Luna does tap us on the shoulder sometimes. She does that a lot, and we try to encourage her to do that for you know way of getting our attention. So we make sure that if she taps us on the shoulder for things that we absolutely give her attention because we want to we want some positive feedback influence all right i got some kind of armor diamond diamond mail that's diamond mail s something 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 blade also a hammer yay 
a better bonk hammer. idea what this freaking sword is. But it has way better attack and stuff, so I'm going to equip it anyway. Apparently, mature cats speak to each other in ranges outside of human hearing. That's really cool. And also, yeah, I, I have read that uh, the cats are really smart and the reason why they learn to meow like that is uh, specifically that humans respond to it. It's really cool. I hope it's not cursed. <laughs> I mean, it didn't have nearly enough letters to say that it was cursed. So I'd be surprised. Poe will sit near your significant other's computer chair and reach up to tap them. If they don't respond, then Poe starts meowing. Oh man, I don't know what sword this is. It's gonna bug me. It is a something blade, three letters. I think it starts with an S. Sunblade? Sunblade. I think it's Sunblade. Yeah, it is. It totally is. Because the shield we're wearing, I think, has a U in it. Wait. Yeah, I know that. I know the second letter is an N. Yeah, I think it's Sunblade. But I already played Golden Sun, and it wasn't very fun to play without a walkthrough. Your cat's three stages of needing attention are nose boop, distressed meow, and frantic bouncing on everything. Uh, yeah, ours is meow, shoulder tap, uh, chewing on things she shouldn't be. That's for sure. Also true, yeah, cats bring humans dead animals because they're like, I don't think you're capable of hunting humans, so here is some food. Or also, hello human. It is clear to me that you do not know how to hunt, so I will show you. <laughs> I will show you so that you do not die, silly human. Meanwhile, um, I guess they conveniently forget that we put food in a bowl for them. <laughs> Ice Beano, is this a new language? Uh, nope, it is actually Wingdings, which was made in 1990 by Microsoft. Gonna make me get up to get her. Hello. Yes. I'm sorry, my lovely bird buddy, but you're no longer allowed there because 
last time you tried to chew a hole in my pillow. Every night when the sun goes down, your cats come to you howling for their wet food. And this is after Kilroy spent the entire day asleep in a box. <laughs> Luna gets her wet food as breakfast, and then we give her hard food for her lunch and dinner. The ancient language indeed. Man, don't remind me 1990 was 31 years ago. <laughs> Do I not have the item for this? Something P. <laughs> I don't know what that cross means. Ollie, you're making it very difficult to translate wing wings right now. person with anxiety who totally understands your anxiety. Yeah, it's a golem. I think he's talking in all caps or some caps. I don't know. Oh no, really solid? We noticed that we have to give Luna like half a scoop of food at night before we go to bed. Otherwise she does the same thing. They might be alternating caps though at Crystor. Because the small, that tiny symbol is an S. Hmm. I don't know. Unless there's another one that's a capital letter that looks really similar. But the, the yeah, the flag is a capital P. I just, I don't entirely know what this says. Nor do I remember what I need. Hey chat, what am I missing here? I, I feel like I missed bringing an item with me or something. And I honestly do not have the spoons to try to figure this out right now between um, wingdings and my pets literally just circling my head for hours. I did not go to the waterfall and get the cube. That's, I was like, where's exit? And then I realized that I taught it to my red mage. Cool. Yeah, apologies if I seem a little on edge at the moment. I am trying not to be, but it is a little bit difficult. try to go remember where the waterfall cave is. I think it's over here. At 
least we get googly eyed canoe. Shuffler trap only y'all get to pick what I play, which I don't know what that's gonna be. Dude, the googly eyes compel you to have a nice day. I completely forgot about the waterfall. Probably because I'm pretty sure one of the golems or something like gives you a hint about the waterfall or maybe one of the dragons near Bahamut does. And I couldn't read it this time because it's in Wingding. So I, I legit just forgot it existed. Thank you, chat. I'm mostly just salty that I climbed that entire tower and now I have to go back again. But it's fine! Don't worry about it! That just means we get to hear more banger alerts. Oh, thank you, Bob. Don't worry, it just comes from um, years of dealing with chronic anxiety. <laughs> No haste for you, Golem man. I'm 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 gonna hastily run away. They hasted so fast I couldn't run. <laughs> Trap, we just had an intervention for you yesterday about that word, didn't we? Uh, stop casting crap on me. Fine, fine, you know what? I'm gonna stab you to death. I'm gonna take out all of my stabby on you. And by stabby, I mean punch. Because I punch. We do many good punch. I'm just gonna throw a big old max heal on us. Yeah, time to, time to take away Trap's pizza again. All right, 13, li listen. 1400 sub points and we give Trap another intervention because he just says that word too much. Or Trap agreed that if we get to 1400 tonight, he'll just stop saying the word bidet for a week in this chat. In this chat? No. What about you're not allowed to say it anywhere for a week? You just can't use that word. No! <laughs> Yay, thanks Mr. Golem for the warp cube. <laughs> thanks buddy. Oh no! He shut down right in front of that treasure chest. But what if I wanted what was in it? Alright. Let's see. What else do we pick up? Some kind of staff. Also, D. Def defender! We picked up a defender! Yo! Y'all, look at me, reading wing dings. This is the defender. I don't think the red wizard can equip it. 
I think that's gonna be a vin- Oh, we can! We can equip it, technically, but it's also not as good. It's garbage! We did pick up another ribbon as well, so I'm gonna give that to our black wizard. I want to say that using the defender maybe cast protect or something. Let's find out. Keep that. We're keeping that sword. Antidotes, where'd you go? You're right there. Wingdings for ultimate immersion. Yo, that's impressive. That's dedication right there. is the cheapest. Oh, you have me on an audio filter that translates English to wingdings. What do I sound like in wingdings? Do I sound pretty good? Hula Desert! I sound like cute. <laughs>
can never unhear the version of that song that's just table. Table! Table, 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 table! You wanted to, table! <laughs> that was three minutes of me laughing nonstop, Crimson. I love that one. I think it was two songs, Faye, but it, yeah, I just, I was like, I don't know, now I kind of feel like singing this other one, so I'm gonna do it. Your job here is done, you can relearn. No, I haven't heard, what? I haven't heard the goat version. There's a goat version? Oh my god, yo! You know what would be really good? You know what would be really good? A version? A goat version? Of Michael Jackson's bad. Thank you. I'll be here for at least another three hours and 39 minutes. Oh my god, if, if you wouldn't mind, Dukat, could you throw that in a Discord for me? That way I can take a look at it later, because I definitely need to hear the goat version of that song. Oh my god, Goofy singing Evanescence is so good. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I can't wake up! Save me! It's so good. Hi, Ned Jam. What happened to Black Mage? Uh, he decided one day that he was tired of only seeing the physical realm, and so his eyes got so big that he could see the wingding matrix within. Turn down for what? Four cube. System of a goat in Discord, thank you. We get to hear this song, but it's the remaster. Excuse me while I get a little emotional. Ooh, this is good. Are the other sprites modified as well? Yes. The black belt is me, but dressed in Nanami's clothes from Soikiden 2. The Red Wizard is me, but dressed up in Red Mage Artifact 2 armor from Final Fantasy XI. The White Wizard is Ollie and Luna. Ollie's sitting on top of Luna, and they're both under the robe. And then the Black Wizard is Vivi with googly eyes. <laughs> Have a good night, Kuro. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Hear me out. We get me round sunglasses and some white paper stuck and cut large circles I can cut holes into so the sunglasses look like the pupils for giant Google. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I... I want that. I would like that, please. actually do remember buying anime on VHS and it was incredibly expensive and you only got like three episodes.
go to your local video store and pay 40 bucks for three episodes. But don't worry, it's fine. Your friend uh, has one of those fancy VHS players where you can burn it over to another VHS and sell bootlegs. Hey, Cat Babble, how are you doing? I watched a decent amount of Dragon Ball Z on VHS. And I used to record Sailor Moon on VHS when it played on Cartoon Network. And I still have my VHS copies of the first three Sailor Moon movies. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear that, Cat. I am doing pretty darn excellent. Thank you for asking. Let's see, what are we picking up here? I don't know what this sword is. Oh man, I forget what the butterfly symbol is. Something A, something E, R? Is it just like Saber, maybe? Maybe it's just Saber. What DBZ opening? Chala or Wake the Dragon? Uh, Chala, definitely. <laughs> cha, cha, chala! That's like a deep nostalgia cut for me, Orma. You watched most of DBZ on a Spanish channel back in the day? Oh, cool. Oh, you had the, oh my God, the VHS copy of The Land Before Time. I had that bear bun and I also had a VHS copy of We're Back. Hi, how are you doing? I remember Cat Babble seeing VHS tapes of Ron the Half, but they were so expensive that I would never be able to buy them. So I never actually got to watch the anime or a whole lot of the anime for Ron the Half. Eventually, like many, many years later, my sister found a couple of seasons on DVD at a garage sale she bought for me, but mostly I read the manga. Um, me and my folks, we had a sort of like weekly tradition where on Sundays we would go to Barnes and Noble and my dad would usually like get coffee and pick up a book. And my parents let me buy one book a week. So every Sunday I would buy another book in the Ron Mahath manga. And before that I bought every book in the Sailor Moon manga. I think I have like the first 20 something books of Ron Mahath back when they were like this big <laughs> and really thick before they changed them to the small ones. And then I also have the very last one because I just really wanted to know what happened. I really wanted to know if they got married. <laughs> the will they won't they was killing me. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what that one is. Yes, it up. And plus, we can still use the giant gloves. Some days I wish I had some brain grain too, Belle. Although I can't watch We're Back without crying like a baby. I literally bawl every fucking time I watch We're Back because of that scene with the little girl and the hat. Don't even get me started. I haven't seen One Piece actually. Oh, and I still, I think I have the first three books of Magic Knight Rayer somewhere. 
jingle. Yeah, of course the black wizard's all right. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, I have no idea if Ronma will have held up or not. I'm also kind of scared to find out, Cat Babble. Because, like, Haposai was uh, definitely in that realm of, like, the 90s humor of the old dirty guy being funny. But now that I'm older, I'm like, wow, no, that's actually really fucking creepy. <laughs> So I'm like, damn it! Now I'm like scared to go back because I'm scared it won't live up. And I have like this, this like appreciative nostalgia spot in me for like Ranma and Akane. And I just don't think that I want to sully that. <gasps> I used to love Tenchi Muyo too. Ryoko was always my favorite. And Washu. <laughs> I liked Washu. <laughs> She's bonkers, I love her. Oh, I remember hearing about the Magic Knight Ray Earth RPG for the Super Nintendo, but I never got to play it. Hi, Mr. Tia. How are you doing? <gasps> Fairly? Oh my god. Listen. Listen, I'm gonna tell you a secret, okay? Um, when I was younger and Napster was still a thing, my mom got every single episode of Record of Lotus War and burned it onto a DVD for me, and I still have that DVD. I still have those like four DVDs that has all six of the episodes with Parn and Deedlet. And then that like second series has the, those other two characters that I can't think of their name, but it also has the cutesy little chibi animations. Parn, 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 Parn. <laughs> I still have them. No, you're not allowed to tell anyone twice, Cass. Never. I fucking love that show. That's why. When uh, the Record of Lotus War Metroidvania came out, I basically screamed at my computer and I still haven't actually sat down and played it yet, but Fish gifted it to me. OG Dragon Ball hits that with Roshi sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, Roshi, like trying to spy on Bulma always creeped me out too, Orma. And it's kind of like when I, you know, we played Breath of Fire 3 and there's that one scene where the old dude's like, oh yeah, I will teach you uh, about all of the ancient things, but first Nina has to give me a kiss. Ha 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 ha. And then I went on like a 30 minute rant about how absolutely unokay and disgusting that is. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm like, I just think that I will savor the segment in my memory and not go back and watch it. <laughs> Updated Rama have to be so good though. <gasps> Faye! Faye! What if, what if they redid Rama half, but Rama was like, a big advocate for being gender fluid. I want that version, please. <laughs> that would be so fucking dope. I would buy the hell out of that. about Rama being trans? Yeah, I wasn't sure, cause like, because Rama goes back and forth, I wasn't really sure if that would just be like more of a gender fluidity thing. 
And I, I also like don't feel like I have any rights or to decide or choose because um, I, I identify as female. So I'm like, that's just out of my knowledge base. Yes, black and white robes are in fact spell items as well. You can use them. Got the anemone. The post was talking a lot about how Ramna acts a lot more relaxed in girl form and seems to use this as like a litmus test for how they react to people. Interesting. Add a man sight. Thank you, Bob. We can bring that to the dwarf later then. I actually don't remember what you get from that. Cause that's not where the Masamune is. And I know in my white mage run I couldn't even use that thing. Uh, oh, also I think that one of the characters triggers might've been sneezing, but um, in Ranma half, it was hot water and cold water, at least for Ranma, his dad and uh, Shampoo and Ryoga. Oh, is it a night only sword? Bummer. Yeah, it did seem that way, Faye, that later on in the series, Ranma seemed uh, less and less inclined to want to seek a way to return to being only male all the time. Like that was a, like a reoccurring thing. And I'm pretty sure the last few episodes also revolve around them like going back to the hot springs and them like finally figuring out which spring was for uh, staying a boy all the time, but then he has to like choose between uh, Like there's some dude who's like wanting to hurt Akane or something So he has to choose between them and he of course chooses Akane Egg! Hey Glowfire, how are you doing? Beef Chariot, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome on in. Ooh, I got another helmet. Uh, I think that's another Mithril helmet, though. Oh, is Sneezing launched from Dragon Ball? Yeah, a lot of, unfortunately, also, a lot of my memory is kind of hazy because it's been a long time since I've seen or read those. Yeah, that's true. Akane really didn't seem to mind either of Ranma's forms anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's like pretty tsundere about both of his forms. I think she's probably my OG favorite Sundere character though. And also because I was a tomboy growing up, um, I really related to her. <laughs> so it was nice to have a character like that. I think I was gonna try to use up the rest of my potions. At least I think I have. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
Launch was the woman who was a doomer perfect housewife slash woman with blonde hair who would sneeze and become a black haired violent vulgar woman who had tons of hammer space guns. Not gonna lie, uh, based on that description, Orma, I prefer the latter. I would much rather hang out with the lady with hammer space guns who's vulgar. She sounds like way more fun. Wait a minute, I think I went backwards by accident. What are the chances on Warmack showing up? Isn't it like one out of 14, 400 or something? I don't know. But I think that Warmack only shows up on a specific floor or in like a specific hallway, right? Hey, Erm. How's the run been so far? Confusing or manageable? Yes. Both. <laughs> Both confusing and manageable. Yeah, I went the, shoot, yeah, I just took the wrong portal because I got turned around. Oh, three, yeah, three out of 64 chance in the hall before the boss. Hey, item finder, how are you doing? I also want that. We were talking to item about how it would be really cool if they redid Ranma half and uh, and like use Ranma as an advocate for gender fluidity. That would be super cool. <laughs> There's a lot of treasure on this floor, I think. I think the first time, yeah, I, I did the Warmack on my Final Fantasy 1 White Mage playthrough, and I think it took me a couple of hours to get it to spawn. That's clothes. <laughs> oh wait, I was gonna use this to take advantage of the fact I can see in the hidden rooms of the map. See there, yeah, there's a bunch of funky rooms and all of those. Treasure over there and treasure over there. Hey, Bone Bra, this is Wingdings, a language made by Microsoft in 1990. There's some good manga with trans characters, at least, but you want to watch something. I hope they make an anime out of one of them someday soon. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of funny that some of the chests here drop, like, starter equipment. Wingdings. 
<laughs> and the sprites look different because they're custom sprites. It started off as a joke where I was gonna play this with Wingdings for one day, and then I got really serious about wanting to finish it for reasons that I will never understand about myself. So here we are, slowly learning how to translate Wingdings back to English while beating Final Fantasy I. <laughs> Let's see, that's an S, an A, an S, something, I think that's a K, E, apostrophe S, <gasps> Sasuke's Blade? Sasuke's Blade! Can I equip that? I can't. Flippin' heck! <laughs> oh, it's ninja only. Damn. Well, Vinda Trash! Epic confusion. I threw it on the ground. I'm not a part of your system, man. I'm gonna make a quick save. Hi, Ollie. In case we do happen to run into Warbeck. are real jerks. Oh, y'all not even gonna let me escape. Okay. Fine, then I will cast fire on you. Or you might kill two of my party members. Yep, they're dead. Vampire jerks. Could you not? Oh. Trying to deal with vampires right now. Actually running out of regular potions. Can you resurrect in battle in this version? I haven't tried actually. I think you can. Buddy, please. Uh, you are making this much more difficult. <laughs> oh, 
Also, I don't know how my brain forgot about the waterfall cave, but remembered that in that maze-like area, you just go up or left. And you don't die horribly to random encounters because you find the exit. Jam. Oh, hang on. Angry trees is dead. He's letting me know that Luna seems to have calmed down a bit, too. Our, our pets have been a little bit cray cray today. Just a tiny bit. Just, just the slightest bit. Ryan C, thank you so much for gifting a tier three sub to the community. Welcome on in to And Cupcake Chris, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs to the community. Welcome on in to Bum Rocky, Dirty Dumbledore, Captain Bardo, Smiley Hector, Hiroko Saki, Maluminos, King Shamasha, DD2 Muffins, Auto Buddha, and Dead Man. I hope y'all enjoy 30 Days of Emos. Thank you, Cupcake Chris. Also, hi, how are you doing today? And hi, Brian C, how are you? Thank you for the 100 minis, me. Um, I also may have a cat hair in my eye for one second. <laughs> no, okay. Just, just casual feelings of uh, possible cat hair and eye. Don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us, right? I love Tiamat as a boss. She's so freaking cool. Yo, that also puts us only 37 sub points away from another BizHawk Shuffler night. Visibility up for extra giggles. I just, I gotta, I gotta say, I really think this is the true final form of Vivi. That's pretty good. I don't remember 
this helmet does, but I'm gonna use it. Also, I like how Monkey's fist comes out non-invisible for the punching. She makes just her arm uninvisible so that she can punch Tiamat in the throats. All right. For you, chat, I'll try to get... I'll try to get... Try to get Warmack. for very long as I have about four hours to attempt to beat the rest of the game. <laughs> by the way, with some awesome thumbnail art that Techie made. Yeah, Wormack only likes to appear when you don't want him, like during a GDQ run of Final Fantasy 1, which I'm pretty sure has happened at least once, probably twice. Store. I did. I did a quick save after we killed Tiamat. Don't worry, we are safe. <laughs> Have a good night, Shadow. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. I do appreciate the reminder, though, because it would be really bad if Warmac Raffles saw Warmac. Apparently, it's Warmac now. His name is Mac. Like the sword from Super Mario RPG. It would be really awful if he wrecked us. And then I had to walk all the way back up here and fight Tiamat again. I fight the RNG! <laughs> More macaroni and cheese. and then watched us run away. Hey, 
chat, how long do y'all think we should give trying to find Warmack? I'm trying to decide how much time we'll need for the final dungeon. Because um, after this, I think we just go back and talk to the old dudes, maybe? And then go to the castle? And then it's like literally the whole thing? Twenty minutes. <laughs> I don't know, forty eight minutes is a long time to look for Warmack. I don't know if I have that level of patience. <laughs> give it somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes. And if we don't see Warmack, then we don't see Warmack. Hey, Lazaro, how are you doing? Drop the timer to 20 minutes, write down how much time we subtract, and then any gift subs <laughs> will increase our Warmack time. But, Christor, what if one person just really wants to see Warmack and the rest of us are sick of it? <laughs> I don't know how badly someone wants to see Warmack. to say I will hunt for Warmack as long as we keep the timer above three hours and 30 minutes or something. That way I don't have to actually go change anything. <laughs> that way I can be as lazy, lazy of a streamer as possible. Just give us your money to kill Warmack with exposure to my fists. <laughs> Is putting out a hit against Warmack against TOS. You haven't played yet. 
I have an endless list on my Steam library. Does that count? He choked on his burger. He's dying. Jack, do you really think that death will mean your escape from prison? Don't die just to escape prison. That's really unreasonable. <laughs> if you could change your fate! Death is a different kind of prison. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean... I suppose you won't really know the difference between life and death after you're dead, but like it's pretty final. Like, are you sure you want to be done with things? There's so many video games to be played. No, modern prince. Wow, modern prisons now employ necromancers so that you can't escape. <laughs> I'm just I'm imagining now I'm now I'm <laughs> yeah now I'm imagining prisons hiring necromancers nice try there bub to teach them valuable lessons. Yes, of course it's dangerous. Swords are supposed to be dangerous. Oh, you start hearing ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. <laughs> Angry trees just said, oh no, in the background. <laughs> Sick as and dangerously hilarious. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Futurama, okay. Hey, Cloudy One, if the Warmack has googly eyes, you're gonna lose it. <laughs> Sadly, we were unable to modify the enemy sprites. Hey, Killer Quag, how are you doing? Right, now I'm sitting here thinking about what if what if New Jersey is just where all the necromancers live <laughs> I 
That'd be pretty dope, honestly. I imagine learning to be a necromancer would be really cool. I think by now, all they would definitely all have googly eyes if we knew how to change them. Oh, you want necromancers? That's six to 13. I've never been to Jersey. So I, to be totally honest, have no fucking clue anything about it. I just like messing with Jay because he knows that I'm doing it out of love. <laughs> So we got about eight minutes or so of hunting for Warmack. But hey, if you want more of me running around hunting for Warmack, ruining Jack's childhood, you know what to do. You know how to add that time. Hey, man, Warbuckle, you grew up in New Jersey and you're a mess, so take that how you will. I mean, I grew up in Texas and I'm also a mess, so I'm not really sure the location is what has to do with it, but you're, you're not alone in being a mess. <laughs> to be fair, there are a lot of things in this world that mess a person up. Quick save again since we've been running away a lot. Exclamation point subathon crimson. Or oh wait, for a second I thought World Friendship Bot just happened to post it at that exact moment, but that was something different. Poor Jack Mango. He died at the young age of 12. Will he ever be resurrected? I'm still walking down this hallway. Crunchies. I should probably get rid of that. Hey Celsius, how are you doing today? Give me the butter. Butter, butter. Butter, butter. Give me the butter. By the way, Chop did ask me if we wanted to feed the pumpkin again this year. <laughs> Community want the pumpkin to be fed again? I I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Crimson, for gifting ten subs to the community. Welcome on into Sickness SP, Thirteenth Arcana, Buyaneka, Ludrin, Gagey, Axe Bear, Bear Axe. That's a great name. Frasia MK2, Ironclad Ferret, the Orphe, and Cheese Pizza. I hope you all enjoy thirty days of emotes, courtesy of Crimson Tented. Thank you. That also puts us closer. Closer to our next goal. We're only 26 sub points away from making me play a Bizhawk Shuffler. That y'all get to decide the games. And also, uh, we get a Necromancer for Jack, so he's not dead anymore. Yeah, this is a Pixel Remaster, and I'm glad to hear you're doing good. It's just all in wingdings. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We beat up Tiamat, and now we are hunting for Warmack. 
which I have agreed that for as long as we keep the subathon timer above the three hour and 30 minute mark, I will continue searching for Warmack and spouting out nonsense. Which, you know, to be fair, I do that second part anyway. But this is special because we're also looking for Warmack. Wait, when did he turn 13, Trop? I thought he was only 12. The nonsense is bonus. <laughs> Two questions, is it timer break or is it just lag? No, it's ticking. I'm not sure, did it add all of the time though? Cause I think, what were we at before? Like 3.30 something? I know it definitely added some stuff. I am not entirely sure if it added correctly. Yeah, that's not right. I have it in here that it adds 240 seconds, which should be four minutes. I don't know what's going on with that, but I can add that in manually. So, what are we missing, like 30 minutes? Dude, why is it doing that? Let me hit save settings on this just in case something's weird. Weird. Nope, it should definitely be adding more than that. Does that seem more correct? Oh, no, not at all, Crimson. I appreciate it. Thank you for pointing that out because now I'm kind of wondering. I hope that hasn't been happening the whole time. Blanking out thinking about that's weird. I don't know why that I don't know why I did that. Hopefully that fixed it though. Uncle Erdnot has a present for you. Did it add four minutes? Okay, that was four minutes. Dude, I have no idea then. Maybe it just like went ah, too many number. That's hella weird. Oh, okay. I'm glad it's not like a reoccurring thing. Thank you, Cupcake Chris. Hey, Spike. Oh, this is Wingdings. <laughs> Yeah, if, uh, hey chat, if y'all wouldn't mind helping me keep an eye on that for, like, if, obviously there is, like, literally no requirement for anyone to gift any subs, but, like, if it happens to, like, have a bigger number of subs and you notice that something's wrong with the timer, please let me know. I don't know why that's going on, but I definitely want to make sure that y'all are actually getting all of the subathon time <laughs> that you pay for. 
Egg! Hi, Egg. Spoony. I hope your summer is going well, Bard Hug. Hey, Starlight! Thank you so much for 14 months. Welcome back. I'm doing great. I hope you are too. I was looking for my high potions. There we go. I went ahead and I like I rehit save on the second setting for how much it's supposed to add and I I actually made it go up to 241 seconds just in case something was just super weird about it and I was getting confused. Hey Mori, how are you doing? because I thought it would be extra funny. Yeah, that is weird, Orma, because it has a separate thing for, like it has like a, a checkbox for like include gifted subs, but it should be adding the same amount of time as everything else. Th thank you for letting me know. So far, all we've been finding are slimes and um, not Warmax. I just, listen, I just want to meet my best buddy, the Warmax. No trap, because I know exactly what's going to happen. You think I forgot about the fact that somebody said that you should call me and say the word bidet and then just hang up? No. <sighs> Not falling for it. to wear mech anyway. Don't worry. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> hey, Ewan. How are you doing? Well, you know, that's assuming I ever find war <laughs> be googly it helps his targeting computer no he doesn't need help he has googly eyes so he needs nothing that's why he's got us all beat. He's got them googlies.
crunch, 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 crunch. That was the last type potion I had. I keep hoping that it's Warmack. Pizza Hut if his mom left him there. hunting in me in me and then uh, and then I think it may just be time to hang up our googlies I hope your evening is super duper. Keith, thank you so much for the 10 month resub. Welcome back, I appreciate it. Oh, you mean like in this upper hallway solid? I don't know if he has like a higher or lesser chance of spawning in certain sections. Five more encounters. And we'll see whether or not we get him. Not that I 
know of Urn. I think it's it's just a flat three out of sixty-four chance of him being your random battle that you get. Yeah, my first time, I think it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to finally see him. I started thinking for a while he didn't exist. He does! He's just very shy. of antidotes. Weekend at Bob's. Hi, Ollie. Preemptive runaway! Crunch, 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 Boys and goes crunch, 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 crunch. Ambushed by Hydras. teleporter and then back up to the crystal and then I'm just gonna take the teleport out I feel like we gave this a good try computer monitor. <laughs> Hi, Infinity! How do I know what is what? I don't, actually. For a lot of it, I don't. That's part of the fun! Hi, Waffle! How are you?
cool. That was my last Phoenix down. Well, I'm out of here. Hi, Celiac. How are you? item shop anyway. Hey! Hey! Oh, I did want to ask. Hey, chat! I have a question. Where do I get flair? This is the first time I've ever actually been able to use it. <laughs> I don't know where to get it. I'm a pro gamer. The only letters I need are RGB. At least we have a ton of heckin' money. Oh! oh okay, the, okay, the one with the Rosetta Stone. Got it. Thank you. how to read wingdings, Rayom. I keep telling people I'm a little scared of myself. Since I have so many casters, would I like to know something that might make things a bit easier? Is it bad if a part of me wants to say no for shits and giggles? That's what you're gonna point out. Well, got him. I was like, 
like, wait a minute. That, I'm pretty sure that means ether. This game has ethers? <laughs> so I'm like, yo, this version of the game, we can heal our MP charts. It's okay. I'm used to only being able to heal it with tents or ends. Hi, Chadra, how are you doing? All right, first up, I'm gonna make an actual game save because we haven't done that yet. And now, I'm gonna go pick up the extra spells over here. I mean, I don't know, Lazro. Would you trade playing in Wingdings for having ethers? <laughs> like, if those were your only choices, were having ethers but playing in Wingdings or not having ethers and playing in English, what would you choose? Them's the real questions. You have to pick ether or. He'll take the wingdings. Lazaro over here like, back in my day, we had to buy potions one at a time. We taped down our A buttons and we liked it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm from the era of uh, tape down, <laughs> tape down A and turn off your TV and uh, ride the waterfall in Final Fantasy VI for 12 hours, grinding out levels with Bannon just healing your party. <laughs> so I feel you, at least to some degree. Shit's gotten a lot less annoying since then, right? Oh yeah, that's right! There's a path over here. I totally forgot about this. I'm out of here. Thank you, chat. This is my first time. Well, I guess I had, you know, white mages in my original playthrough, but it has been many a year, and I only had one red mage in my playthrough early this year, who obviously can't use any of those spells. You bought an NES Turbo controller just so you could mass buy potions in FF1. It, it does sound incredibly infuriating. <laughs> yeah, we bought Lock 2 and it didn't do anything and we appreciated that. Boy, oh boy, I sure do love grinding Gil for three hours and then buying a spell that does fucking nothing because it's bugged. Yep, we just picked up Flare in full life. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Peninsula of Power, Lazro, because the map tiles were hacked up, so it would spawn the zombie bulls up there, the zombie minotaurs. That's actually what I used because I played the PS1 version of Final Fantasy 1 for my White Mage playthrough, so it had the original MP charges and everything. 
uh, it was basically the original game, but the spells were fixed and the graphics were a little updated. But it still had all the MP charges, it still had the Peninsula of Power, so I grinded there for probably like two days. Okie dokie! Time to go back to Crescent Town! And do the I've Got All the Crystals dance! Who's that one guy standing back there? I don't know what he wants from me, but I'm not talking to him. No, 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 no. Hey there, old chums. I got all the crystals. Don't one of you want to talk to me or something? I don't remember. I thought I was supposed to come talk to these old dudes once I got all the crystals. Perhaps I am remembering that wrong. Perhaps I can just go straight to the castle and no one gives an F. Do I look like I know what a wang ding is? I just want to go to this castle and kill chaos. Also, I like how this castle kind of looks like it's floating a little. Thumbs up, Buttercup! Hey, Fraggle X. I have started to learn a little bit of wingdings. Chocobo brought Jack back to life. <laughs> it came from user space. Thank you so much for gifting 25 hacking subs to the community. Welcome on in to Infinite Pudding, Usahime, Dairy Berry, Joey RPG or Live, Draco Wolf, MSC Kibo, Nikki V, Angry Chan, Till Within, Chubby Dragon, Dovakota, Tonza A, Sonic Punk, Zerbit, Ambulance, Ron Burgundy. Or is that C. Ron Burgundy? I'm not sure. <laughs> Bella's Cold Wine, Zader, Waffle Donkey, Zero Zero, Loki the Harvester, Stratus, Lita Hitman, Barry Mike, and Dazman. I hope y'all enjoy 30 days of emotes courtesy of a king in user space. Thank you so much. That's super kind. That also brought us to 1400 sub points. And I am now becoming convinced that the marathon timer I use gets really confused about gift subs. That are like more than one at a time for whatever reason that I don't understand. I'm wondering if Twitch maybe changed something that hacked up its tracking. Because yeah, there should definitely be more time than that. So we're missing, is that 75 minutes? Are we missing 75 minutes? You think it's at 35? We were at 355 and then it jumped to 430. Dude, that's even more confusing. <laughs> 
That's even more confusing. Time compression. Well, yeah, I guess, I, I think maybe it was 35s there. I just added in 65 minutes. I don't know why that's bored to hell today, but, uh, there, that should be, that should be better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and hey, we also hit 1,400 at some points, which means... We have now unlocked our next awesome August incentive. Next month, I will be scheduling another BizHawk Shuffler, which if you don't know what BizHawk Shuffler is, that's where you take like 50 games and you stuff them all together and it randomizes them and has you play one for about 30 to 60 seconds. That amount of time is also randomized and then it will automatically switch you to another game on the list. And it just keeps doing this. And I'm going to let you, the lovely community, decide what games I'm playing on that. So I'll be making some kind of Google form or something for you to submit games. And uh, it's, I don't even really know how that's going to go. It's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, our next goal is going to be a 1500. And if we have 1500 sub points somehow, I'm going to do a cosplay of the Justin Bailey skin of Samus Aran for the release of Metroid Dread. Because, you know, I have the green hair already. So I would just need to get like a hot pink suit or something. Let me update that. Bam. Also, it does kind of look like Levy is causing a time distortion with his googly eyes. Anyway, are y'all ready to, uh, are y'all ready to beat Final Fantasy Wingdings? I don't know how to feel about this. I'm here to kill chaos! Do you know what the worst part of being stuck in a time loop is, Astro Hammer? Do you know what the worst part about being stuck in a time loop is? Do you know what the worst part about being stuck in a time loop is? Do you know what the worst part about being stuck in a time loop is? Do you know what the worst part of being stuck in a time loop is? speaking you didn't expect me to do that um a couple of years ago and i i really don't remember where this originated at all but like a couple of years ago chop used to type that in a chat a lot and he would just type only that over and over again because the time loop was him asking me about the time loop
Did I not? I guess I didn't buy um, regular potions. Oh well. Shoot, I missed that. Oh my god, are we gonna get hacked by green dragons? Apparently we are. I'm gonna touch the thing! Oh, this is good. I like this. We finally get to use the loot and it sounds awesome! It was pecking dope! Fatales I need to go back and catch the VOD of. That's right, these are all empty rooms. <laughs> They're for wasting your heckin' time. be giving you the sword because uh we're definitely gonna be stamming chaos with it zag hound you didn't specify which end <laughs> I, I, I 
I do think I nearly accidentally killed RPGC with the can of spaghetti meteos comment. <laughs> do I want anything from Waffle House? Uh, yeah, some waffles sound great. I'm curious how they handled the fights of the four bosses here. Oh, that was you, Bob! You requested the old man voice! <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, pick me! I love doing terrible old man voices. I do that all the time when I play JRPGs. You're taking Jay to get food since he's not dead? Excellent. Ooh, also thank you, Timbist. Raisins in your toast. Raisin a glass for me, okay? other mages. Uncle Erdnot has a present for you! A quiz to I thank you for gifting a sub to Raisin Toast and Butter. Bring that song though. I don't really know any of the lyrics, Chop. Can I do the voice acting for this in Wingdings? I have kind of sort of acted out a little bit of it, Zephyr, but it's really hard reading out all of the symbols. Punch the lich! Punch the lich! Really 
kind of damage that he takes, I guess, to try to scale him better. Okay, that's fair. years lifting. <sighs> I'm just like, why is Holy dealing such crappy damage? <laughs> I feel like it should be dealing a lot more than that. Does this version let me cast cure spells on him? It does not. Yeah, maybe we caught him right after he woke up from a nap at Crystal, and that's why he was so weak. to go north. like this dungeon though. that was in pixels. I, I think I would actually do it. Um, I may need to take a quick break before we actually finish the game though, cause I just realized that um, we've been live for almost six hours. I don't know how long the chaos fight will take and I might need to get another snack. Eldritch Speak Geek, I just might be dead before they do. <laughs> Hello again, Carrie.
definitely named her Merilith again. I just still call her Carrie. Too bad Carrie can't withstand the power of punch! Bye. much punch. So much punch. Alright, let's make a quick save. And real quick, before I continue on and defeat Kraken, and then Tiamat, and then finally beat the crap out of Chaos, and somehow finish Final Fantasy 1 in Wingdings. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get a snack, cause it's like almost 10. All I've had to eat so far today is a soft pretzel and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> so let me, let me make myself some sort of actual sustenance. Um, I would happily wait until after we beat Chaos to do so, but also my husband, Angry Trees, uh, was gonna start writing soon, and I don't want to interrupt him later. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, don't worry, we won't forget to say I'm here to kill Chaos when we get there. Cause, I mean, that that's the dream. That's the dream. Getting to kill Chaos right after you say, I'm here to kill Chaos. And also there's wingdings and googly-eyed beaties. It's like a fever dream I had once. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out today, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad that you're all enjoying the insanity of this as much as I am. We're gonna finish this thing out, and then we've still got several hours left on the clock for the subathon. Don't go too far, or if you do, just come back, because there will be more wingdings. At least for a little while. <laughs>
right, I am back. Thank you all so much for waiting. I'm super sorry about the really long be right back. Uh, I made myself an actual meal instead of just snacks. So that was good, but Luna's been very, um, something. She's been a real handful today, so I was just trying to help angry trees. chasing the red dot she does astral but we noticed that when we were playing with her with a laser pointer she would get really pent up energy because she could never actually catch it uh, and that would kind of just like make her really really antsy all the time <laughs> um she has like a, a skin condition i'm not sure what it's called but ever since she's was a kitten she occasionally gets like these twitches on her back um, and sometimes they're worse than others certain days and CBD helps with her actually because they make CBD like in pet portions um, So I was trying to help angry trees get give her some she we had like a, a bag of her treats and she wasn't eating it uh, But angry trees said he got out a new bag that he bought yesterday when he went out for groceries and She ate those with it So um, we're hoping that that calms her down because he's literally been playing with her for like six hours non-stop she would take like maybe 10 minutes and then want to play again so we think maybe she's just having a really bad spell of it today because it tends to make her like feel a need to like bite or get out energy so we're hoping that that makes her feel better and calm down some Luna's just tired of ollie standing on her <laughs> Thank you for the, the welcome back, so th thank you all so much for waiting. I really appreciate it. Apologies. I did not intend to be gone that long, but I wanted to help angry trees out if I could. Oh, yeah. Never forget Punch Wizard. I did. Yeah, I had a, a veggie burger, which was very yummy. I enjoyed that a lot. given a little of that when you adopted your girls to alleviate their anxiety oh thank you Astro. i really appreciate it it's just like it's the worst that we've ever really seen her so it usually does help her a lot she usually uh within like 30 minutes really calms down and it gets rid of those twitches for her that I can't read, even though I'm pretty sure they normally have really good, interesting lore on them, if I remember right. But I can't read them, so <laughs> instead we'll put on some cool sunglasses. Oh shit, did we get a raid while I was gone? Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Good guy, JDB, thank you so much for the raid! I'm sorry, I was really just like going concerned about my cat and trying to get some food in my stomach. Hi! If anyone from the raid is still here, I'm super sorry that you raided while I was AFK and I was gone for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Spoonie. I'm playing Final Fantasy 1 and Wingdings. Oh, oh man, I was thinking you could read these tablets for some reason, but I guess maybe I'm misremembering that. Yo, a raid's a raid, good guy JDP. Thanks for bringing folks over here, I appreciate it. <laughs> 
These are the ancient ruins from 1990 Link Shot. Very, very, very archaic year. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and heal up the party a bit. I guess I could go ahead and use some of the ethers we bought. Unless I just used the elixirs by accident, which is possible and would be hilarious. Oh well. interesting adventure. I mean, we can tell when they're in critical health because it turns red, but that's about it. Otherwise, I've just had to slowly start learning a bit of wingdings. some calamari <laughs> let's see all right I'm pretty sure that the Excalibur is down here so I'm gonna go get it by the Excalibur I mean not the Excalibur the Masamune it really is bell it's super broken your temper broke in Final Fantasy IV once. Was it over Kane betraying you? Honestly, that's fine, Ash Dragon. Thank you. 
Go get some winging lady. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Boardwalk. Thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Oh, there was a cat hair on my glass. Yep. Got it. The chest contained... Masamune. The chest contained Masamune! We clearly have to give it to the white mage. It's too bad I didn't name her Aerith in this playthrough. Luna was here. hammer which is I believe the item for Thundaga lowercase a is the cancer sign yeah the real question is hey anybody can you translate what we named our characters like an Aerith only run but oh man don't don't tempt me <laughs> I feel like I have enough really dumb challenge runs that I want to do right now how am I supposed to have time for all this Thank you for joining us. You have a wonderful night. Miss, but what about chaos? Don't tempt me. Can we put Final Fantasy VII in Steam in Wingdings? I don't know. Can we? I gotta admit it, Chris, or there is a very, very small part of my soul that has thought about what if I beat all of the pixel remasters and wing dings? Too, I'd definitely be able to read Wingding. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep casting Temper on our punchy friends. Because it seems to work out really well.
monkey might die. them in combat? Oh wait, no, here it is. Never mind. I was about to say. That's pretty wild. hoping that would be the killing blow. <laughs> Many flares. doesn't get to cast first. forget any last random battles that you want to engage in.
Thank you, Bob. I will kill Chaos. I can't believe we're here. I, I just, I can't believe we're actually here. Yeah, wait a minute, that Chaos guy looks just like Garland! That's very suspicious! Become strong. Have a good night, Belle. Thank you for joining us. Yo, that's a dope looking sprite, though. does is cast Quake and fucking kill Monkey. You bastard. from a Chris store. That is a picture of me getting jump scared from you playing Animal Crossing New Horizons trying to hunt tarantulas at night.
One of these added... Oh my god, one of these added Blink, but I don't remember which one. That's the hammer for Thundaga. Animal Crossing related jump scare. Bet you didn't expect the boo of bits three. <laughs> no, I really didn't. Thank you, Space Dandy, for the bob bits. Dude, he really likes hitting the same person over and over. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. 
monkey's gonna monk. Here to kill chaos. My eyes are messing with me because I can't read the first D. Well, so much for bringing Ollie back up. I have. Okay.
think my best bet is probably to use an ether. And hope we live, which we won't. Because he keeps casting AoE at a really shitty time. So fucking hacked. Yo, I think that's also my last Phoenix down. fucking dead because he just wouldn't fucking leave me alone like at all jesus i fucking hate this fight sometimes and i can't tell what level we are so i have no idea if i'm actually under leveled for this or not but sure we'll just go forward again anyway the spell I didn't buy it cuz the spell is for chumps
now. Go ahead and start attack. be enough blink, but apparently not. That's the first time we've cast he's actually cast that. Definitely, in general, seems a lot less predictable in this version. Yikes. Phoenix 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, that was not the right item. Also cool, now Ollie had a 25% chance of getting hit and still got hit. Because Chaos basically fucking hates us. Like, this is kind of absurd because I've literally never had an issue fighting Chaos. So I wasn't exactly expecting him to suddenly be difficult and now he hits like a truck. You can't hit him for shit until you stack like six different fucking buffs. It's like they made the rest of the game not that much of a challenge and then decided to beef up chaos like too much compared to the rest of it. feels like nothing that I cast is going to matter. Kind of feels like my strategy for this is just going to sit around for 10 minutes casting Blink with the Defender Sword. Which, to be fair, in my opinion, is less a strat and more just stupid. Hoping that he doesn't hit our white mage. That's all I can really think of. She has a better shot living. Have a good one, Cha. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I'm a little lost in thought because this is just a lot more difficult of a fight than I thought it was going to be. And um, I'm not really sure how to beat it other than getting good RNG and basically using every bit of cheese I know. Dude, am I out of Phoenix Downs? I might be. No, I have one left.
Dude, like, that's so dumb! I cast Blink on her, like, four times. I- what did- What are you supposed to do about that? Did they seriously, like, remove the order that he cast things and then also make it so he just, like, doesn't- It doesn't matter how many times you cast Blink? Did they put a cap on it? I just feel like I'm fucking dead at this point. Like, fuck it, just fucking kill me, cause I'm, I am done with this try. Nope, it definitely did not have a two stack limit before. Not at all. You could literally cast it to the point where your evasion was so high, chaos couldn't hit you. I mean, honestly, if it's tuned like this, I don't see anyone bothering to run the Pixel Remaster. Why would you? This has me a bit concerned for what they did to Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> Which is weird, because, I mean, I felt like Final Fantasy III was fine. Mage is already dead. See, like, okay. The sorry, the fact that he can fucking one-shot my monk even without haste is bullshit. What exactly are you supposed to do in a fight where he can literally fucking one-shot you at any given time and in order to deal any damage to him, you have to spend like eight rounds buffing yourself? know how you're supposed to win this. Well, 
the thing is, Jin is saying Gemini, in the original NES version, even then, Chaos was like had a fixed rotation. You could predict what he was going to do and act accordingly. You could also do things like buff up Link so that he would hit you less times and just buff the shit out of one character and basically make them sort of your unstoppable killing machine. But he literally just does shit randomly now. And he's just, he's just one-shotting me, even without haste. It's like they went, well, people said chaos was too easy, so let's fix that. But then they made it so he's just fucking stupid. Yeah, we don't actually know what level we are. Well, and cool. Now he goes from one-shotting us to still one-shotting us. <laughs> Dope. is even with blink it doesn't matter you're just fucking dead he missed one punch one singular punch from blink that was it Kidding me, Square Enix? Now we just. Cool. So normally Chaos is only supposed to start healing himself when you know that he's nearly dead, but now he just heals for literally like all of his HP whenever the fuck he wants. Neat. That's great. I don't even know what the fuck to- I literally don't know what to do. I don't even know what to do.
What does this staff do? Nothing, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't have an AI. He's picking randomly. He's literally picking randomly and just happens to land on, let's cure myself for more damage than the party has dealt to me at all. I don't even know why this is like some kind of argument or I don't know what the fuck's going on, but like, I feel like this is a thing where maybe there is a misunderstood reading of the vibe in this room right now. Like, just put my black mage in the front, I guess. If the game's gonna be stupid, then so am I. Hi, 
image, Demus. He has googly eyes. <laughs> he's perfect in every way. Somehow he's standing in the front row and still not getting hit by chaos. Sorry, I'll just be over here. I'll just be over here comparing chaos to a sour tart made of butts and trying to decide what I want to do. well. Hi, Mush. It was going really well, and then we found out Chaos is overtuned and a huge jerk. There's a nice hit. Up to you, monkey! I don't, I don't want to look. Fudge! Why? I hate this fight. It's so stupid. This isn't even skill. This is just stupid RNG bullshit. monk forever.
see how this friggin' goes. At least we got to heal. Good grief. Have a good night, Crystal. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry for yelling at chaos for like an hour. The background is the only thing keeping me sane right now, if that helps. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for everything, both you and Techie. I'm sure as hell not gonna let this orange jerk ruin our day. did think Monkey was going to be dead there. I'm really surprised she lived. God, fuck that guy. <laughs> Yuck. Well, hey, at least we get to read the ending now, right? <laughs> yep, we did it. We beat... Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster in Wingdings. Yup. Who wants to be two through six? <laughs> to move monkey to the back row because I really wanted to defeat chaos with the same row of characters it sucks that chaos hits so hard even without haste but to be fair that does mean we beat the game with our names saying wingdings can't read spoonie because wingdings can't catch these hands We started off not being able to re read the wingdings, and now they can't read us. Hmm.
GG, everybody. We did it. Thank you all for joining me for this very ridiculous playthrough. What's funny is the hardest part wasn't even the wingdings. It was the fact that they changed chaos to make him just stupid, annoying RNG <laughs> instead of an actual boss fight requiring memorization and skill. I guess they really wanted to go hard on the chaos part of the chaos fight. Just like, listen, sir, you're supposed to cast those four spells in order and then melee me? <laughs> you're not supposed to cast heal yet! Yeah, as, as I once said, suck it, video games. <laughs> Feels nice. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't even know what to do now! I spent the last 20 plus hours of my life beating Final Fantasy 1 in Wingdings. What do I do now? <laughs> Thank you, Thoth. It was honestly a terrible fight. They made it so now Chaos, instead of casting things in a certain predictable order, he literally is just Chaos Incarnate. <laughs> so it was, it was honestly awful. <laughs> but we did it. We did it! Yeah! Did it. <laughs> now we get to see the credits in Wingdings. <laughs> yeah, be sure to thank the developers, everybody, whose names you can definitely read right now. Yeah, I think I, I think I got it on the fourth try. I definitely seemed overtuned, and uh, I'm guessing the reason why is that they changed the max level to 99. I'm guessing that's why Chaos ends up feeling overtuned. They probably scaled him for you to be like in the 60s or 70s or something. <laughs> considering we were probably in the level 40s or so, I think. I don't really know. <laughs> we did that in about four tries, and I was too stubborn to go by Dispel. Yeah, I don't know. I like 
like, I felt like I did a decent amount of level grinding to buy spells and potions and things. So, big shrug. Big old shrug. Also, I learned that no all can miss for some reason I don't understand. <laughs> I literally had no idea. I had no idea that no all can miss. You win at like 52 and he still nearly TPK'd you? Came down to a fighter with Excalibur doubting him on his last few health. Oh jeez. Is it the speedrun of, of the Pixel Remaster Storm? Yeah, this version. I mean, I'm not too terribly surprised because speedruns, I mean, you usually find like the most cheesy way possible to beat a boss and use it because it's fast. <laughs> I couldn't really use the Masamune because I, I basically had to use my one white wizard to just spam heals. They call chaos a slot machine. <laughs> did it though and that's what matters your friend that runs this his split for chaos is just named house wins <laughs> so out of curiosity storm how often does the speed run get flattened by shitty rng against chaos because i feel like my heart is now aching for folks that speedrun the Pixel Remaster. I, like, I, dude, there's no way that anyone could convince me to speedrun this game after seeing Chaos be a literal slot machine. I guess I don't understand why they would scale it to make it so you can be level 99, but at the same time, playing the game like a regular person, I feel like you're not, I don't know, like, being like level 40 to 50, that seems like a pretty average level to get here. So I don't understand why they would scale it to 99 and then be like, oh yeah, you know, fight chaos at level 70. Makes sense on paper, but like who's going around level grinding to 70? Because Final Fantasy 1 doesn't have any bonus content. <laughs> Basically, chaos casting haste or flares, like, just reset. And I guess that's true, at least if you're speedrunning the pixel remaster with quick saves, it's not like you have to walk through the whole dungeon and thus lose your entire run, but... Yeah, and it just, it also felt like we were hitting the fiends for very, very low compared to what I was hitting them for in the Game Boy Advance version and the PlayStation version. Because I remember in even in the PS1 version, I mean, I had to like very carefully 
pick and choose how many holies I was going to use on each boss. And yeah, that's, that's another thing, Storm. I don't even know, like, I don't even know how you would be high enough level to deal with him casting haste on himself. Like, at what point could you even handle him swinging for 800 damage? Because that seems like something where you'd have to be, like, in the 80s or 90s level-wise to even deal with it if you don't have to spell. Even then, even if you do have Dispel, he's probably going to hit somebody before you can cast it. Does slow work on Chaos? I don't even know. I don't know if I've tried. Hey Mark, how are you doing? Oh yeah, I did, I spent like, I don't know, what did we spend, like 40 minutes looking for Warmack? We didn't have any luck, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, Techie. I mean, you know, you know me, I've, I've already beaten Final Fantasy 1 anyway, but especially now that we have beaten this version, if you want to talk about anything that's specific to this version, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, Chaos can just uh, decide to cure himself for 9,990 HP. We don't know, uh... We don't know if that's just, like, part of the slot machine pool or what. It kind of seems like it's just random. He can just, you know, heal his entire HP pool. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> That's, that's why if you if you came in and I you basically just came in and me cursing at chaos That's why I'm like yo this fight is dumb. <laughs> like it's not good I am curious hey chat does anybody know if they did change the way that blink functions in this one? Yeah, Haze seemed to only do one stack. Hmm. But what's weird though, Storm, is that when I did my solo Red Mage run, I used Blink like nine times on myself, and Chaos literally like could not hit me. He could not hit me. <laughs> So I know that on the Game Boy Advance version, it stacks a lot. Um, because that's actually when I found out that Temper stacks so much too. That's how I ended up doing my solo Red Mage stuff and beating all the bonus content on GBA is being able to stack up Haste, Temper, Giant's Gloves, and Blink. Uh, that's also how I survived, because you can fight Omega in the Game Boy Advance version. That's literally the only way I beat Omega, was spamming Blink on myself so much that Omega couldn't hit me. Because anytime he did hit me, it was for at least half my health. Should we, should we switch the font back to English and figure out what level we were at? All right, I'm gonna exit the game. <laughs> uh, let's see. I believe I made a backup copy. Yeah, I, I did, I did, cool. Let me take a look here. Oh, you just go into the Steam file, Shadex. Uh, so if you have the Pixel Remasters, you can go to your Steam Library folders, go to Steam Ads Common, and then find the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster you want to change it, and you click on, there's like a Final Fantasy Data folder, 
And then you want to go to uh, streaming assets folder and they have font underscore and then the abbreviation for the language. You want to change the English and the JP fonts and that should do it. Uh, you can actually find a lot of fonts online. There are people that do mods for the fonts, mods for the character sprites, which is how we had different character sprites as well. So I should just be able to move over the font bundles, I think. And I think that should put it back in English. Level 43! <laughs> hey, you were really close to Christor! <laughs> Yep, we beat Chaos at level 42 and 43. Yay! Also, the White Wizard has the most health. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I can read! We can read! Chaos has been defeated! The curse is lifted! Language has returned to the land! <laughs> we did it, y'all. Also, wow, we do have a lot of gills. <laughs> We have so much gill. <laughs> Wingdings can't read Spoonie. Feels good, man. Yeah, sub 20 hours really doesn't seem bad for not being able to read. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, the stats for Spoonie. I don't, I don't even know what's good for a monk. No clue. accuracy seems bad. Yeah, yeah, changing the language is super duper easy. Um, if you want, Astral, if you're looking for just like a really basic uh, font that's like in a pixel form, if you are in our Discord, in the general section, if you click on the pinned messages, I pinned a message that I posted of a tweet of someone sharing a Mystic Quest font, and that's the one I used for my playthrough of FF3. It's really nice. Uh, I will take a look. Our Red Wizard has a defense of 41. Our White Wizard has a defense of 33. And our Black Wizard has a defense of 26. You're jumping straight into Klingon. Nice. Good stuff. Well, I don't, I don't really know what to do now. I legitimately am not sure. Uh, like, I... I I don't know what to do with my life now that I beat Final Fantasy and Wingdings. <laughs> I 
I will say I feel I feel a little bit bad about how frustrated I was getting at chaos so sorry about that um, just man I was not expecting that fight to be that way and who boy it really came after me but I guess it makes sense now that I see that I'm level 42 and 43 and even people in their 50s and 60s were struggling <laughs> It was definitely a big difficulty spike. <laughs> you pulled down Ancient Hylian and Wingdings as well, but you need to play the original language first. That's fair. Yeah, Christor made Ancient Hylian, Wingdings. Uh, oh, he also made Albed and Klingon. <laughs> that reaction made it all worth it. Um, I, I also want to take a minute to say thank you again. Thank you again to both Akristor and Tekitome for not only making it possible for me to play Final Fantasy 1 in Wingdings, but also adding in some very special backgrounds as well as some very, very special custom sprites for our run. Thank you both very, very much. This has been an absolute pleasure and I, seriously, like probably one of the most ridiculous and fun things that I've done on stream. Thank you. <laughs> that was, this is just dope as hell. <laughs> I don't know if it's something that y'all would be interested in. But perhaps someday in the future, we can continue our legacy of playing games in Wingdings. After all, there will be five other Final Fantasy Pixel remasters ripe for Wingding in it. 